Hello, everyone, and welcome to Critical Role, a show where a bunch of us nerdy-ass voice actors get together, roll dice, and play Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, my name is Matthew Mercer. I'm the dungeon master of the game. Welcome new folks who haven't seen this before. Uh, hope you're not too lost. And uh, returning uh, Team Human and Critter fans, uh, welcome back. We love having you, and uh, let's get this evening on the road. We have some announcements and things to talk about before the game actually kicks in. So uh, let first pass it over here to our fantastic overlord That's to right, get that kicked off. That's right, you get to see my ugly face for a couple minutes while I get through a couple quick announcements, guys. A lot of you have been asking me on Twitter and in the chat room when you will get to see Critical Troll. Uh, that will be up on the website tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Mm. So go over to the website, 8 p.m., you'll be able to see that, and uh, I'm sure you guys will secretly pass around the YouTube link and stuff, and all that good stuff. <laughs> well, um, watch me go crazy. Currently, you can find Laura's article on geekandsundry.com. That came out today, so make yep. sure and head over to the website and read that. And I know a lot of you are probably wondering about D and Diesel, which is apparently the the name D and Diesel. It's got a ring to it. Hashtag D and Diesel. Hashtag D and Diesel. Uh, that will be showing tonight during the midpoint of the show. Now, there's a couple special things with this showing. You need to watch it live. If you think that you're going to come back later, watch on the rebroadcast, and you're going to go dip out for a pee break or a pizza break, whatever, don't. Stick around, because after it shows tonight live, you will be unable to see it again until Monday on the website. So it will be cut from the rebroadcasts, Whoa. and I'm very sorry to our European audience. I'm, I'm really sorry about that, but that's just, unfortunately, how PR deals work sometimes, and <laughs> it's just the way it is. So, but it Only will a few be, days. Yeah, it'll only be a few days, and you'll get to see a lot more on Monday, a longer cut, and that's why it's a website exclusive. It's longer, it'll have some tightening and all sorts of other stuff, but you guys get a special treat tonight with a preview showing, and it's still a long preview. It's like 20, 25 minutes or something like that. <laughs> oh, it is? So, yeah, yeah it's, it's pretty cool. That'll be exciting. Chicken. Um, so there's that. Tomorrow we have a very special event happening. Uh, for all of those that joined us for the Extra Life campaign, thank you so much. And a lot of you guys were here as well. Yes, in fact, indeed. All. And uh, thank you for donating and getting us well past our goal. And as some of you may remember during Critical Troll, Felicia mentioned if we reach a certain goal, she would come on on a scheduled date and play uh, Rock Band 4. So that's happening. Tomorrow yep. we're having a Battle of the Bands from 5 to 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and Mr. Mercer here is going to be playing the drums. Yeah, I'm drumming for them, which, uh, first off, I haven't played since probably 2011, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm a little rusty. Have you, have you seen your competition? No, but I assume they're gonna destroy me. They're really good. That's okay. I will narrate my failure. There we go. In a way that'll still be as engrossing. And there's been a there's been like <laughs> a Twitter battle happening between the two teams. Oh really? That um, just you're kind of walking into the fire, my friend. That's Felicia's okay. put a lot on the line for you guys as team. It's cool. I got fire resistance. Okay, cool, cool. It's fine. Uh, so that'll be happening tomorrow, 5 p.m. <laughs> to 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You guys should tune in for that. We are still going to be donating to Extra Life, but we're not really gonna be pushing it. It's more of a reward for you guys for helping us get past that 75k goal. Yes. Um, our next giveaway is going to be at 9,500. We're getting pretty close. Uh, the other real quick little announcement I have as far as subs go is last week you guys were able to get our sub train up to 420 subs. Now that counts resubs and new subs. So we have the sub train going right now. I believe it's well over 100. If we break <sighs> last week's record of 420, which I think they purposely stopped at 420. And <laughs> of we're course like, they did. Guys, don't go. Uh, we will do a giant giveaway of board games, D&D stuff, signed by the cast, signed by the rest of the Twitch crew. Uh, we'll throw in a couple video games, t-shirts, all sorts of stuff. Plus, Ivan has said that if we reach that goal for TPK, which those that watched last Monday, thank you so much. Yeah. It's a new show on Monday nights uh, where our Twitch cast plays as themselves an Outbreak Undead. Last week, some of you saw the Twitch cast leave me for dead outside <laughs> of the studio. And a lot of people uh, thought that I might come back if given the opportunity. Well, if we break that sub goal, Ivan has said that I will come back and probably wreak havoc in some way for our Twitch host that thought that they could get away <laughs> with leaving me for dead in the middle of the street. That's awesome. So let's break 420. Um, the last announcement, guys, is just a real quick kind of community announcement. Um, we like to pride ourselves at Geek and Sundry for being a very open and loving and warm community, and that's absolutely the most important thing to us and to Felicia and to a lot of our viewers. Yeah, yeah. And I know last week's things got a little heated in the chat room, and we just want to remind everyone that we don't get the opportunity to talk too much during this show, but we want to make sure you guys stay as positive as possible 
or I will have to throw the hammer down on you. <laughs> Shit. All right. There you go. No, it's That's, it's this is pretty much it. It's you know, it j- j- just goes to say that this community is built on so many great positive people and such a wonderful sense of community. And a big, huge thanks and and please show appreciation for our fantastic mods who work consistently and constantly throughout the day. For free. For free. <laughs> uh, you guys are crazy. <laughs> through our chat room, which as if you watch, if you're now seeing and have seen previous episodes, is is. I can only assume readable by super mastermind computers at this point. So, um, you guys do an amazing job. It's really appreciated. And to all of you guys out there in the community, uh, keep that positivity, keep that understanding, and, and uh, enjoy our game for its ups, for its downs, for our good character choices, bad character choices. It's all an experience and a story that we're all, you know, having together at the same time. So, uh, uh, kick along, hold on, and, and keep smiling. Well said, man. Yeah, thank you. We love you guys, kind of. <laughs> no, I really, they I do. love you. We do. I'm on the fence. He's a, you know, so it's a thing. Um, so yeah. Uh, so a couple other announcements for you guys. Uh, uh, what's our sub count right now? What are we? What's our next hundred? Um, Nine point five k. Uh, Ninety five uh, hundred. Uh, we will be giving away our, uh, you know, our signed photo and signed art piece by Kit Bus to a random person who's active in the chat. So. Uh, next time we hit that goal, we'll have that giveaway, which is awesome. Um, once again, Extra Life has been our big charity push right now. Everyone who's who's given, thank you so much. So, so much. And uh, if ever you want to be a part of helping that out, uh, we have the information there available for you. It goes to a really great cause. Um, let's see. Oh, uh, Sam will be here shortly. Unfortunately, we're down in Tiberius tonight. Um, however, yesterday was Orion's birthday, so feel free to go ahead and wish him happy birthday on Twitter. Happy birthday, Orion. Happy birthday, Orion. Happy birthday, buddy. Um, but yeah, Sam should be here shortly. And let's see, do we have any project announcements? Just a project announcement? Or any other announcements you got? Hey, yesterday I started directing for the World of Warcraft, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. 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 I think it's going to be uh, ongoing, and uh, it was really nice. Big deal. That's, so yeah. That's super you. exciting. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, yeah. Then so, anything so right now? Girl. Anything you want to do? All right, I also want to thank uh, Pup Games from Twitter for sending me this. Oh, yeah. Just look at this. It came in the mail separate, and I have a hood, and now I can just, you know, I can go like that, and no one will see me. So thank you, Pup Games. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Uh, let me set it here. I haven't figured out how to wear it exactly, but I will. <laughs> Take all your clothes off and then figure it out. Um, it's warm on the chesticles. And then uh, the, I just want to take a minute. I, I, I said thank you on Twitter, but I just want to thank um, everybody who for the last week has sent me well wishes, and today who has sent me well wishes. And uh, a lot of the Critter community got together and made a video just to, you yeah, know, to support support me and and I am having a hard moment in my personal life I'm not gonna get into it um, but you guys kind of took my breath away today uh, for real so thank you very much yeah we have the best fans this cool we community do. is Brooklyn community. so you guys yeah. so many of them in New York and in San Francisco uh, this week yes. where we've been all over the place and yeah. shout, shout out to our New York and San Fran yeah we, we, we hit both coasts let's go <laughs> Uh, yeah, both, both posts. yeah, in the same week, it's crazy. Yeah, our, our, we we all went to New York Comic Con. Um, we had a we had a panel uh, that went really well. We had a bunch of great critters come out and uh, uh, team human folks come in and and sit in the audience, ask questions. We had some fun banter back and forth. We gave out critical roles, these cookies that our little meal deal. <laughs> we're neither here. critical nor roles, really, to be right. fair. Right, but they were good. But yeah. we're into it. Yeah, imaginary <laughs> roles, <laughs> much like how realm is imaginary. I, I may have, I may have hit a couple people in the face, for which I greatly. <laughs> I apologize. definitely hit somebody in the face. Yeah, no, I like split someone's lip. Completely oh, unintentional, I'm sure. I'm so sorry. Her aim is excellent. She yes, never misses. Yes, I am. A, she hunters marks that shit. Exactly. <laughs> I hunters marked your face. And we played golf. Uh, it was quite nice. Yeah. yeah. Also, uh, so, so uh, thank you guys for coming out to that event. Also, for those who came to see us at uh, Forbidden Planet in New York, we yes. had a great turnout, and that comic shop yeah. wasn't quite expecting what they were in for. We weren't expecting that. We weren't expecting, but they especially were like halfway through, like, who are you guys? <laughs> what is happening? Yeah. We are legion. We freaked out our Uber driver. Yeah, we did. Yeah. We pulled up and got out of the car, and all of a sudden it was like hundreds of people cheering, and we all went, what? And the Uber driver went, what? <laughs> I think his exact words is, is this for us? <laughs> <laughs> and then we were like, I don't know. Uh, oh, no. 
You guys were amazing. Yeah, Thank you. I, I feel like we need to find in screen cap in the thread where we were like 20, 30 people, guys. Let's not yeah. get our hopes yeah, up. Yeah, let's 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 well, get that's a black who box. got back to me. Was like yeah, I don't know, 40 we thought it was gonna be like forty people. Yeah, uh, yeah that was uh, <laughs> a pretty great. Good turnout. It's pretty, pretty metal. Great, yes. Um, pretty metal. Internet went nope. Yeah. <laughs> uh, other announcements uh, coming up. I think in the next couple weeks or so, the release of the Minecraft Story Mode is on the Xbox. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, really a fun show. We went to the, uh, the ArcLight. Let's play of it they they did, which was really a lot of fun. But uh, I played yes. the characters Aiden and Otis in Hundreds it. Hundreds of screaming children. Screaming yes, lots of it. screaming children. Yeah. But yeah, so I play Aiden and Otis and a smattering of other characters throughout. Uh, I think Sam also worked on it. Anybody else here work on that project as well? Ashley, Ash is one of the main characters. Ashley Johnson, our very own main. Yeah. yeah, she's one of the main characters in that show. So um, so if you're a Minecraft fan and you like Telltale and you have an Xbox, check it out. Speaking of Telltale, the final episode of Tales from the Borderlands comes out next week. Oh, oh snap! snap. This episode five, what? Yeah! So yeah. Awesome. Exciting. Yeah, yeah. Also, in, in that in that role, if any uh, critters are in Galveston, the Galveston area for Halloween, I will be at OniCon uh, over Halloween weekend. So you can come say hi in beautiful <laughs> in beautiful Galveston by the sea, uh, Galveston, Texas. So there you go. Yay. I'll be wearing a costume. It'll be great. We have a gnome. We have a gnome. We have gnome. We have gnome. Oh God! You're in Minecraft, right? Mode? Yes, I am. Yeah. In fact, you and I. I think we have a couple. Seems we like. do something together. I don't know what. Or you're playing a version of me or something. I don't remember. I can only assume that it's tawdry. She told. <laughs> <laughs> the director told me something about you, and I just assume we're probably having sex in the game. Probably. Yeah. Okay. Just, like, <laughs> it's an extended, still fully interactive too. Talk about choices you make that affect the storyline. <laughs> uh, <but laughs> I just I blank out in the booth anytime you mention his name. Um, but yeah, know. cool guys. Um, any other announcements that you want to talk about, or shall we uh, get things started? Let's do it. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Wait, where did Krog go? Wait, we will be here. Well, I'll be here in a minute. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and dial in for the next episode of Critical Role. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> so, <shh. laughs> so to go over uh, the current adventure and its current sequence, we have uh, the party recently had an encounter with the Briarwoods, two individuals that were responsible for a lot of strife Dicks. in the background of Percival's history, uh, seemingly responsible for the destruction of his entire family, and have for the past five years been essentially ruling his home city and castle. Um, they were out for a political banquet with uh, Sovereign Uriel and Iman, and the party member of Vox Machina, they were all invited to be part of this. Um, didn't quite go as planned, there was a scuffle, and the Briarwoods uh, absconded back to Whitestone. They sent a couple of assassins out to attempt to take out their driver who was spilling information and essentially was going to be uh, Vox Machina's way of being free of any sort of uh, political issues based on their actions that evening. And uh, after much discussion and preparation, and purchasing a lot of mirrors, um, <laughs> the party took their transit over to the east, northeast, towards Whitestone, uh, where they began to traverse the uh, uh, Alabaster Sierras um, to the north, using the mountain range as opposed to going directly through the forest. Uh, there they managed to avoid encountering a bunch of harpies that were distracted by eating the horses they left behind. Yeah. Um, they camped for the evening and began to make their way through some sort of a, a mountainous valley that led in towards 
uh, the forest surrounding Whitestone. While they were traveling down this uh, this pass, there was a rumbling and some sort of really fast, rapid-moving, large blue creature that leaped down in front, catching them off guard. And that is where we begin today. Probably should. Did the creature look like that? that creature. This is what the creature? Yeah, okay, right. That would be smart. I never do that. I do. It's so dumb. What's dumb? I have a question. That what, we didn't what did you that roll on your beard anymore, check? Right? What I roll my I beard check? I know it's growing. Okay, we can't. Uh, roll out. Well, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> this well, no, no shave till 10k. That's true. And my Halloween costume requires a Little. decent amount of facial oh, hair. Oh, that's right. Sexy amount of facial hair. So, uh, you beast. Be glad right. there's a table between yeah. you and I. <laughs> <laughs> I was a little worried about some performance ca- uh, coming up, but it uh, performance capture, but I got moved back, so. So you Perfect. can shave. Oh, the shave race. No, yeah. 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 How far are we from 10K? I gotta shave. 500. Uh, 509. 509, 509 away. Okay. All right. So, like, tomorrow. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> All right, so, everyone, as this, this uh, huge, <coughs> blue-scaled, <coughs> reptilian-like creature with multiple arms and legs comes skittering down the side of the uh, the cliffs, Skittering. blocking off the entirety of this passage, snarling at you with its sharp teeth and this seemingly like sparking blue electrical energy kind of just jutting out of the corners of its mouth. I want you all to roll initiative. Yeah. So soon. Which one? I add 20 to this, right? Is that how it works? <laughs> Not good. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, it was cocked. I didn't level up. Still not great. Wait, Still not great. Did, but you didn't. That's what you're saying. I, I did, but I did. Oh, add some hit points. What yeah, you? add hit points right now. Add some hit points. How many do I add? It's uh, like D12 plus constitution modifier. Yeah, D12. Constitution modifier. Roll We're barbarian, 12. man. Hey, we play D&D. Hey, hey that's good. Plus. Plus. Whoa! 16 extra health points. Oh, oh what'd you roll? Freaking you rolled tank? an 11 plus five. Dang. That's hot. That's pretty hot. So many <laughs> hit points for the barbarian. And if you want, you could just boost two. Two. Are you at 12 now? What? Level 12? Level 12? Level 12? Level 12? You're level 12? Don't, don't complicate things. Just okay. smash, smash, Hulk smash. All right, so. How many spells does he get? <laughs> All of them. <laughs> All right, so initiatives we have, 25 to 20, anyone? 20, uh, uh 21. All right, uh, uh, 19, uh, 20 to 15. 19. Oh, me too. 16. 16? Uh, 15 to 10. 10. 10. Keep oh it. no. Uh, 10 to 5. Eight. <laughs> I consistently boss. I'll see you guys in like an hour. <laughs> <laughs> I got a four. Okay. <laughs> Scanlon, awesome. you, you have consistently the best initiative rolls. Oh yeah. It's the life. I save it for when it counts. As you should. As you should. All right, so first up, Percy. Instinctively, with your drive towards Whitestone and this creature in your way, you are already ready for this encounter. What are you going to do? Um, I'm going to, uh, it's bigger than Sin, isn't it? Exactly. So it's <laughs> a very large, it is considered a huge creature. Okay, so I'm going to alert everybody. Get down! And I'm going to take three shots. Um, just I'm going to search you. Hmm? You're just gonna start you. I'm just gonna. St- hey, look at that thing! Hey, Percy gonna do what Percy gonna do? What if right. you could reason with him? He is <laughs> definitely. Why doesn't it reason with me? Definitely. That's what I'm asking. Uh, it there's, could reason with me. There's a lot of heads in the way. Just aim true. It, I'm aiming. I'm aiming. Good. I'm gonna use the sharpshooter. Uh, sharpshooter for extra damage. Alrighty. Uh, three pepper box shots. I will be less handsome with one ear. Um, I'm just saying. The minus five. Yeah. So that's. Could be an improvement. So 17. 17 hits. Oh, oh. Go ahead and roll the attacks in succession. Hmm? Go ahead and roll the attacks in succession so we know how many hit. Okay. Um, second shot. Second one uh, is, uh, it, it hits 18 plus uh, hits. seven. Yeah, it hits. Third one. And for the third one, I'm going to uh, go for a headshot instead of a, instead of a, uh, um, <laughs> instead of a uh, sharpshooter. Okay. Uh, and that's 21. Okay, all three hit. Go ahead and roll damage. Dark cloud aids as well. Uh, 17. 17 damage. <laughs> Better. Um, <coughs> 25. Ooh. That Alrighty. went really well. And then the last one, do I do any damage when I, uh, when I uh, uh, hit the head? Uh, normal damage. So last one is so ooh, you were gonna hit seven head. points of damage, plus he's got um, 
disadvantage on his attacks this round. Yeah, disadvantage on attacks. Gotcha. Right. You want to stay where you are? You can move. Uh, I'll. Am I touching a wall? You're you're right, kind of close touching. to the wall. All right, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna brace against the wall. Okay. Brace against that wall there. Gotcha. And I'm going to mark all this off. All righty. Um. Okay. Next up is the creature. Ah. Um, this is rolled really high on its initiative. Uh, it's going to go ahead and see at a movement of 50 feet. Oh, <gasps> we're in a freaking. We're in a death trap. Oh, it's gonna be fine, guys. We're like a. We're outdoors. The, the, the so, valley is like, it's like a taco shell. Is it a, a valley shell. or is it like those are cliff sides it's a and we can fall? Like the cliff sides go yeah, up. It's over like a taco here. shell okay. and we're the meat. And we're, oh, oh. yeah, yeah. You can climb around it yep, without a problem. You guys, it's pretty spot. sheer. You'd have okay. to do some climb checks if you wanted to. Got it. Um, Unless you're in Japan. So it screes forward, lowers its jaw, and rears its head back. As it does, you see its eyes flare with electrical energy, and the inside of its mouth begins to glow with a brightish blue white power. Get down. A bolt of electrical energy comes forward, hitting Grog. Vax, uh, Scanlan, and Percy. It's electrified! Electrified! <laughs> what was the city? Actually, no, it would move up to. Hmm, it's only 20 feet, so to get maximum. In this, let's see. Maybe it doesn't do what Don't think well. about it, Maybe just, it just go! Well. And don't, it doesn't move right. Don't calculate it, man. It's you know, actually, for, for optimal, optimal impact here, instead, it's going to go there. I have to put my head in its mouth? <laughs> Practically. <laughs> um, it will then do it on. It'll be Grog, Vex, and Trinket. I approve of that. <laughs> <laughs> I realize that's, that it, it's it's it's, uh, its bolt is only twenty feet long. So utilizing its, its optimal lightning bolt length, you guys were clustered together. Okay. Um, all right. So I need you guys three to roll a dexterity saving throw. With advantage. With advantage uh, because I'm in the mountains. You do it with advantage. Uh, it only affects attacks. Oh, that's right. This is a magic save. Nineteen. Good to know. Twenty-one. Woo! All right, and trinket. Ah. Two. Um. Eight. Yay. He got an eight. He got an eight. Oof. Okay. Uh, thirty-three points of lightning damage to both of you. Okay. <gasps> Wait, that means. Trinket takes sixty-six. 66? King is fucking dead, yo! What? Unconscious. That fast? Wh which one? I'm dead or unconscious? He's unconscious. unconscious. Don't throw around the D word, unless it's the D word so, time. <laughs> as there is a crackling of energy <laughs> forward, you two brace yourself, managing to get mostly out of the way. Unfortunately, both of you dodging out of the way leaves an open shot for mm. your large bear that just <laughs> takes the brunt of it, throwing Trinket up against the side of the actual uh, Mountainous cavern, and then <laughs> slumps to the ground, smoking off the fur. What does Trinket have to make saving throws? Yes. Or yeah, saving throws, yes. No, no one, no one has any. Not yet. Until we get to the turn. Uh, that will oh, end. Oh, wait. wait. Are your armor. I've got like a spell eater. He's only got forty-two hit points. Yeah. Whoa. Technically, should have more from leveling up, but <sighs> even more wouldn't be that much higher. So. Um, Okay, so that's rough. Uh, that ends its turn. That is, <laughs> you're up first. <laughs> she would so like to rage. Spot, uh, Vengeance! <laughs> Vengeance! Um, so uh, trying to say your soul is forfeit. I am going to Hunter's Mark him. Alrighty. And then I'm going to. Why is he closer now? <laughs> um, okay. Sorry, Grog. Well, I'm going to Hail of Thorns him. Alrighty. Frog is always in the bay. Yeah, well. I do need a good back tickle. Got an itch back there. Uh, 30. 30 hits? No, wait, that's wrong. No, 30. 30 hits? <gasps> I'm so, so angry right now! Thorns <laughs> deep. It's not at me for once. 10. <laughs> 3d10. Once you're the one not doing damage to the bear. That's good. It's a bonus action, so we can heal this dude, do other shit, if Scanlan and I both do it. What is that? I 22. Think both 22. 22 also hits? No, that's just the attack. Oh, it's the damage. Okay, gotcha. And Grog also. Oh, yeah. Because you're right next to it. Would right. that be considered piercing, bludgeoning, or slashing damage? 
Uh, it doesn't matter, you have not taken your turn to rage yet. Oh, fucking shit. So. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be full oh damage God. upon your grog. So. Ow! Oh, shit, I'm sorry. <laughs> the other one was um, goodness, 27. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Ooh. Oh. 10 plus. Plus 15. 15, yeah. That's including the hunter's mark, right? Yes. All right, good. So. Oh, wait. No, I wasn't adding the 7. Wait, no, that's a lie. That's a 15, 16, 17 plus 5, 21. 21. Got it. All right. So as you look over and you see. Trinket on the ground, smoldering spire of smoke. Can I pull off him? Can body. I pull him out of the way? It smells oh. like burning. Can uh, I just pull burn, him into burn. the little crevice? And this way, I mean. For my move. Is Three. that a move action or would that be an action action? Uh, that would be more of an action action, unfortunately. Oh. Oh, no. um, but but oh. you angrily turn around, release your arrow, firing a completely furious hail of thorns into the creature as it hits and shatters across its hide. Some of it scattering onto uh, Grog. You don't even care. You just focus sure, in God. anger. Pull out a second arrow and unleash it. This one actually jamming underneath one of the scales. You can see a little trickle of uh, dark, dark, deep purple blood beginning to pour from the wound. I get out of the line. Okay, where do you want to go? Towards the little crevice. Right there? Yeah. Okay. Um, pull him, but I still want to be near Trick. Okay. That ends your turn. Grog, you're up. Getting assolate up with the Hail of Thorns. I go into I'm a sorry, rage. <laughs> okay. I go into a frenzy rage. Oh, alrighty. And, um, I would like to attack three times with my flaming wall. Ever. Certainly. But, no more shopping that today. That is uh, 24. <laughs> that hits. Uh, 21. That hits. Yay! 26. That also hits. Nice. That's a really good one. Okay. Uh, first one is 11. Uh, 13. First one. 13 damage. Get another sign. <laughs> 14 for the second one. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, 17. 21 plus the fire damage. Good to know. Including fire damage. All right, so We're not going, going to the rage, you just see that same fury. You can smell the uh, the burnt hair in the air, and you use that to fuel that along with the pain to just whack, whack, and just start bludgeoning the creature right up in its face. You can see it's like thrashing and snarling at you and snapping with each blow. You guys are locked in this kind of you know Titan versus you know human <laughs> battle right now. Uh, cool. And are you gonna stay where you are? Uh, I'm gonna move. Uh, can I move towards you a little bit? This way, there. Yeah, staying next to him, but just out sure. of the way of other projectiles that might be coming up my butthole. Fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> okay, going into your turn, uh, Keyleth, you're up. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm right next to Trinket, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, right. Where is Trinket? Trinket's right there. You're over here. Follow the smell. I'm gonna go ahead and go to Trinket. I was right, make a death saving throw, by the way. No. Oh, snap. I almost forgot. Oh, no. Old D20. Oh, no. Roll like your bear's pen, the blood colored one. But why would you do that? He rolled a 19. Okay, oh. so. Not creeping closer to death yet. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, uh, do a cure wounds spell on him. All right. Thank you, yeah. Keyleth. I'll just do first level. Oh. Uh, no, 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 no. It's not worth to say. I'll give him a his shut up, Keyleth. Wake him up. Wake him up. Wake him up. <laughs> I instantly felt guilty, Dick. You guilty right. up to another level. Yeah, you did. Okay. Uh, um, so I'm gonna do. I, I would have done a cantrip, Dick. Two D eight plus three. That's pretty good. Better. That's not bad. That's uh, that's an eight and a seven plus ten, so uh, twenty-five. Twenty-five. So Trinket is at twenty-five hit points, that's conscious, great. prone but conscious. He, he, licks, the... he licks her. Okay. And then, <laughs> as a bonus action, uh. can I, looking at whatever the shit this is, uh, pull out my spark stone that I got from my fire <gasps> cherry, uh -huh. and. <laughs> Oh wow, we're going there. It's okay. Bad. Is that like break glass in case of emergency? Yeah, so I, I don't know what it does. Oh, right. So, I, I hope I'm right next to you. So, after you finish healing Trinket, you pull up, reach out and pull this, and as you can hold it in your hands, you can feel it's warm to the touch, almost too hot to hold. And there's a slight pulsing, almost like a heartbeat pulse to it. You hold it in your hands and just crush it, concentrating all your energy on it. As you do, what seemed to be hard and sturdy all of a sudden turns brittle in your fingers, and it cracks and breaks, almost like it was made of of a very, very brittle earth. As it breaks and your hands come together, the too hot to touch becomes too hot to touch. And for a moment, your hands burst into flames. And ah. you instinctively 
full back, like you want to go ahead and put out the fire, but then it falls to a normal temperature again, but the flames remain, and you can now see your hands are now emitting flame from all the Is fingers. Is that permanent? What does it do? We'll find out, and I go minxy. All right. Yeah, you go minxy! And I brought the hood. <laughs> <laughs> That tiger's on fire! Yeah. Lilith transforms into Mingxi, and as Mingxi uh, appears, you know, her form transitioning into this large uh, albino saber-toothed tiger, you can see both of the tiger's claws embedded in the ground of this, this uh, rocky terrain are having flicks of fire and flame curling off of the actual claws. Hell yeah, I look like an Ed Hardy tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I regret everything. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, that's your turn. Are you gonna move? Are you gonna stay there? Well, I moved to trinket. Right, but you, you can you can break your movement up. Oh yeah, you, I'll you've moved twenty feet. So you still have ten more feet to move if you want. I'll start heading to try and flank him, to flank the the blue. Okay, piece. she'll be there. Okay. Um, All right, that ends Keyleth. Uh, now would be Tiberius. Tiberius, who uh, now takes the turn to cast Stonekin, a stone skin on himself, uh, then kind of backs up behind this side there, preparing for the next round. Uh, Vax, you're up. Okay, uh, Vax drops, lo uh, click the uh, boots of haste together, and for everyone who keeps asking, if I click my boots of haste together, I then get to attack three times. I get that question about uh, three times a week, so that's how I do it. <laughs> So, uh, click the boots face together, and then I'm going to uh, crouch low and and scoot. Uh, no, uh, or the other side of Minxy, and I should be able to go 60 feet without a problem all the way past the fucker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, keep going as far as I can. That's as far as I can go. Yep. Uh, all right, and uh, I guess I will just uh, dagger him in the ass then. All uh, right. So. First is a. I love that die. Twenty-four. Twenty-four hits. Yeah. And this would be sneak attack with because sneak attack. he's with yep. Grog. Yep. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So uh, here's the damage for the attack. Is uh, two seven is nine plus. Ooh. Ooh. Yep. Who knew? Yeah. Nine plus is 13, 17, 19, 20, 26, 31 for the first. Jesus. Second attack go. Oh, that's not the right at all. Second attack goes. Uh, same. Uh, 23. All right, that hits. Okay, and this is. Uh, Regular two. damage now. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, that's seven. Seven, already. And then the last dagger, the keen dagger, stabs him in the butt again, and that is. Ow. 16. 16, that uh, does not hit. Whiff! It's the, you actually go with the third one. The first one stabs through and you can see you've actually hit some sort of an internal organ as you pull back and <laughs> starts gouting blood. Uh. Using that, you stab a second blade in the same area and tend to open the wound another inch, inch and a half. The third one you pull back, but it kind of slinks around looking over its shoulder, its long, uh, sinewy neck curling over and staring at you and your blade catches the hide instead and streaks off of the scales. Oh, hi. <laughs> uh, that'll end your turn. Scalen, you're up. Do I have to heal Trinket anymore? No, he's, he's okay. Okay. Then I will, uh, uh, I will do, uh, let's see here. Do we want to get him away from us or do we want to hurt him? Let's do, um. We want to hurt him. Well, I don't hurt things very well. Do what you're going to do. Gonna do what do. you do. I hurt feelings. Okay. <laughs> you do you, Scanlon. Uh, okay. I I uh, I'll do some 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 big big bee hand some big bee's hand I, I summon big, big bee's hand. <laughs> big bee's hand. <laughs> um, this giant spectral hand, kind of sparkling arcane energy, appears roughly in front of your space. It's it's in front of me. I can't make it go in front of him. You can. You okay. really, like, like I'm just saying, just from a, a flavor okay. standpoint. Well, then I do I do one of these. Uh, the Sugar Ray Leonard, I do this, <laughs> and then I throw my back hand forward, <laughs> and I'll just punch him in the face. Go for it. <laughs> I like that. Try uh, right, because I can do this. It says huge or smaller creature, at least with grasping hand. Is that a, right. Does that well, count? Uh, you, oh, you can just you can just punch something with it, no matter its size, to do damage. Okay, that's, so the clenched fish. Clenched Correct. Fish. Correct. Clenched fish. Clenched fish. Clenched fish attack. Which is the one you're talking about, yes. <laughs> uh, all right, so Brian for uh, so for the clenched fist, yeah, so just 
Uh, make a melee spell attack. So roll d20 and add your spell attack modifier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! Uh, 13. 13. As the fist swings out, it whoosh, ducks out of the way. It's serpentine body ducking as the fist just arcs off into the middle of the air, spinning uh -oh. around, preparing itself for a secondary round, hopefully. Good, good, good try, Scamp. Oh, boy. Good. Bax sees it fly over his head and watches it pass. Uh, I'll take a, a step to my left, so I'm not like okay. in the same line of fires as Alrighty. Percy. And uh, and I'll also inspire Grog. Okay. Uh, He's Krog, he's Krog, he's big, he's strong like wood. He's better than bad, he's good. Everyone <laughs> <laughs> wants a Krog. That's amazing, is that a 10? That's a 10? D10, yeah, D10 oh, inspiration die from the bard. Great, mm, you, top of the round again. Percy, you're up. Um, I'm going to um, scoot a little bit forward. I'm just into that little crevice. You're gonna take three more shots just to just to see what I can do. Okay. Uh, you have the sharpshooter feet, right? Um, with the sharpshooter. Feet. Okay, so yeah, because it would have partial cover right now, but you ignore that. I have sharpshooter, so I can ignore cover. Good to know. Um, yeah. So, but I'm going to be taking a negative to, for these hits. Still three, 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 three attacks per. Yeah. Okay. Make sure I'm doing this right. You have to reload after this turn. Yeah. Um. Oh no. Misfire? First, Misfire. First ah. shot, as you go to, as you pull up to the side, you pull your pepper box out and go to fire. As you do, you pull the trigger and the actual uh, barrel <coughs> sticks off the side, spins off and ping, ping, ping on the ground. Fuck. Um, so that's, that's your attack. Balls. That's your turn, because it'll take you the rest just of the turn. Just say your soul is forfeit, just for coolness. <laughs> <laughs> This normally doesn't happen to me. I don't quite know what. Uh... <laughs> it happens to all guys sometimes. Um, <laughs> so can I at least use my bonus to pick up the pieces? And, yeah. Okay. You, I'm you gonna collect pepper box and, and you pull your back up to it. Oh, make sure you grab your dignity as well. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave that as an open target for a little while. Fair enough. Okay. <laughs> now on I'm its turn. Oh shit. Oh, no. It's going to. Well, first off, let's see here. Damn it! Attack the tank. It, uh, does we did great. Does not. <laughs> Recharge its lightning breath. Uh, it's gonna move here. It's going to go ahead and make a uh, two attacks. It's gonna turn around and it's it's uh, its head that's looking at you now after yeah. you stab it at the back reaches down. Its giant jaws open. You can see like this thick saliva that's coating its fangs, and it whoosh, with serpentine speed bites at you. Hey, rogues evasion. Uh, that's going to be a twenty-three to hit. So uncanny dodge, uh, I can dodge for half damage. So it was a what to hit? 23? 23 hits, but I take half damage. All right. Uh, so let's see, that would be. Half. Not whole. 152 Stop hit points. Stop rolling. <laughs> uh, it would be 26 damage, so you take 13. Ah, uh, nothing. Ain't nothing. What's the piercing damage? Uh, and then it is going to, as it bites, it turns around and its tail begins to snake around your body, Grog, and its whole body begins <gasps> to try and reach around to constrict and crush you. Oh, shit. Uh, that is a uh, 21 to hit. That hits. Alrighty. So, uh, you take 21 points on bludgeoning damage. Halved. So there'd be uh, 11 points of bludgeoning damage plus 21 points of slashing damage Whoa. Half as well. 20, so a total 20. 22 damage. Okay. Um, and you are considered grappled and restrained currently as the entire creature begins to wrap around you and you're currently Ugh! You're trying to hold on to your ax but your whole body's being crushed by this large <laughs> showing tank creature. You can piece of shit. <laughs> you can feel every pulse of its muscles tensing. It's the pain and ache. You can feel uh, muscles and, and ligaments tearing and popping as it pulls in on you. Not cool. Um, that's going to. Uh, and it's going to, as part of its grapple, move you with it to there. And it'll end its turn. Uh, Vex, you're up. Okay. Um, how does the hide thing work? Do I hide at the beginning of the turn or at the end of the turn? At the end of the turn. Okay. I'm going to move out. Okay, it has a reach of 10, so you are technically within its melee range. So you can run, but you'll take attack of opportunity from it if 
you do. Just so you're aware. Can I still arrow it from where I am? Uh, you can, but you have uh, disadvantage on all your ranged attacks because you are in the other way. Does it cancel out because I'm in the mountains? It doesn't affect your attacks. Damn it! Sorry. Um, it's up to you. You could you could stay where you are and take disadvantage on all your attacks, or you could run past and it gets a free swipe on you. Your call. I'm gonna try to run, run. I'm gonna try to back up. Okay, over to here. Like how far? Oh no! Wait, I can't see. I forgot my glasses. Okay, you're right here. Uh huh. You can try and back up this way if you wanted to get away. Yeah, I'll try to back up towards who is that? That's Scanlan. Percy. There. I'll over try here? to back towards Percy. Right there. Yeah. Over here. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Why not? What's right. Trinket doing? Well, Trinket's healed, and he's gonna come with me. Okay. So Trinket gets up and use half its 40 movement, it can move. Although he's angry about it because he wants to yeah. fight, but I just won't let him right now. Okay, so <laughs> as you rush away, the creature takes a, let's say, 26 to hit. Oh, oh Jesus, really? Shit, does it hit Trinket too? 26. No, just me. Trinket was too far away. Uh, so you take... Uh, 18 points of piercing damage. Oh, it's 3d10, sorry. Oh. <laughs> 19, I rolled a one for them. No. So 19 okay. points of piercing damage as its mouth whoosh, lashes out, takes a chunk of your shoulder for a second, and you wrench yourself away and keep running. <sighs> Take the rest of your turn. Okay, I'm going to shoot him. Yes, you are. Okay. Uh, that is 22. That hits. Okay. Um. Fourteen for the first hit. Okay. And the second one is through the blazing bow at twenty-two. Second one hits. First one missed at fourteen. Or did it? Oh hit? no, fourteen oh, was damage. the damage. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. Second one blazing bow. Sixteen. Sixteen damage. All right. Okay. And. Uh, oh, and I hide. Uh, you currently are completely in its visual range. You have to be behind something to reasonably become hidden. I'm behind you are behind, behind me. Percy. No, it has to, like a behind a person doesn't work. It has to be like Human behind shield. a pillar or in deep shadow. Uh. Something that would that would break your line of sight to it for a moment to the point where it no longer knows quite where you are. It works. I've hit it, it the it wrong totally place. Who said that? Who said that? It, it went to the wrong place. It's okay. But now you know. I know. All right. That's your turn. Dog. Grog, you're I would love to try and dog. break <laughs> the gravel. All right. 20? Uh, 20, yes, and because you are restrained, uh, we'll check what fast the condition here. Just to be safe. This is my time to be dog. Okay, yeah, so just uh, go ahead, you're making an athletics check. Natural 20. Yes! Oh, that was good. All right, so. I bite his tail. Yeah! <laughs> As, Son you, of a as, you, as your teeth sink into uh, one of its scales and you yank it out with the sheer force of your muscle neck. Uh, Throw it over my way, it, I'll catch it. It unfurls for a second, you manage to pull yourself out of its grasp. I'm so, so, I'm so pissed that I broke free that I would like to use intimidating presence on this creature. Okay, all right. So you pull, uh, that, that is an action to do that though, isn't it? Is it? Uh, yeah. Uh, I reserve. <laughs> for a later time. For a later time. But you do have a bonus action still. I hit the shit out of it! I did another attack, go for it. Okay, uh, 21. 21 does hit. It's, uh, or that's 20. 22, sorry, yeah. 22 hits. Also hits one more. Okay. Oh, I get one more. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> uh, also 22. Also 22. It, meaning it, it was one better once. than your previous. Oh, okay. hit once. Yeah. Just one hit. Ah. Just one hit. Just keep rolling 22. Just keep rolling. Uh, no, no. And, uh, 12, and 15. 15 points. With fire damage. All right. So, as you pull away, you pull, reach back with your hammer and whack, slam it into its side, causing a straight burst of fire to Bitch. emanate from the impact. It shrinks back for a second and... You grab me. You ask for this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Keyleth, you're up. Um, I'm gonna do my bite and claw attacks. All right. With so you move. Uh, let me, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna move kind of in that crux a little bit more, one more, there. if I can. Beautiful. All righty. Uh, let's do, uh, I'm gonna do my claw attacks first. Go for it. To see what they, what it does. <laughs> what was it? It was it halfway between oh, two. Um, so that's I 12 plus, oh, it's always different. Uh, okay, uh, 20. 
20 hits. Yeah. <gasps> okay, so that is, I haven't been minxy in battle in a while. Uh, one, two, three, four, What's your flaming claws? Don't forget your flaming claws. Yeah, six, so 11 damage for the claws. That's additional 1d6 fire damage. Plus 1d6, oh wait, uh, that's actually, what did I just say? I said 10, 11, and then an actual 1d6. Yes. Ooh, another four, so f- what did I 15. say? 15. <laughs> damage. So, so any of your claw attacks, or any you know, like claw attacks you do in any of your forms, now get an additional 1d6 fire damage. Nice. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. Mm. Nice. And then I'm gonna do my uh, bite and bite attack. All right, go for it. Your bite attack does <laughs> not hit really you. Well, like, uh, uh, 16, so uh, the no, plus. 20 plus, okay. plus, plus. The, plus my six plus seven, so uh, 28. That hits, go to roll damage for the bite. Which is 2d6. Your bad math is running off of right now. Uh, <laughs> eight plus five, uh, so 12. Thir- Eight plus five is thirteen. Thirteen. <laughs> fourteen. What? Plus I get an extra damage for my, my collar. So right. fourteen. Okay, cool. So Sorry. after you, your flaming claw strikes Sorry, so across I'm its outer body, its legs kind of pull away from the pain as you reach up and bite into the end of edge of its tail. Almost as its tail tries to whip away, you catch it and it pulls you forward a few feet as you just clench down on it. It eventually yanks its way out, taking a couple of scales with it. You can see a streak where the teeth marks are in the back of its tail. Uh, awesome. Is that any turn? Yeah. Alright. Nice big thing. Uh, Tiberius is going to corner again. He's going to uh, cast telekinesis and send his glaive up spinning. And send it off. He has a glaive? What's he has that? A it's the thing that killed all of us. Oh, it's the granny grinder. <laughs> <laughs> the granny grinder, you know. So bad. Uh, rolls a two, unfortunately, though, <laughs> as it <laughs> just streaks off and spins back around. And then, uh, while it misses the creature, comes back and stops hovering above his head with a slow spin. It's just they're kind of curling his fingers, grinning at the creature. Um, Van's gonna use the rest of his movement to go back behind the rock. <laughs> There's a moment I raise no fool. Uh, Vax, you're up. All right, no it's preoccupied, so I just uh, leisurely walk backwards about 30 feet, looking at the same wound that Explain I started it. before. Yeah, but no, back up the, the, the chasm here, even further away. Oh, okay. Yeah, and I'm just gonna throw three daggers <laughs> into the wound that I already hit. So All right. I'm gonna do that again. Uh, that, I know that hits because it hit the last time. That is a 23. That hits. And it's sneak attack because he's occupied. Because uh, that's 11 plus. Ah, Ooh, that's a good 11 plus 17, 21, 26, 29, 34, 39 for the first dagger. What, that's Ooh. just the first dagger? Yeah. Whoa! Yeah, first dagger. <laughs> tag, man. Next one doesn't hit probably, that's a 17. 17 just barely hits. Oh, just barely yeah. hits, yeah, yeah. okay. Uh, that is a uh, an eight of damage. All right. Come on, come on, come on. And I just wait a second and go, and then, <laughs> and that, uh, and because I was such a cock, it misses. <laughs> 16. So, oh perfect, second dagger. <laughs> Beds actually wedges in with the second dagger, opening the wound even more. You're like, perfect opening! You go through the third one, and it's grown wise to it, and turns around and actually rakes its claw out and deflects the dagger midair. Vex, look at me! <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> nice one. Nice. Your turn. Um, that brings us to Scanlan. Oh, uh, oh, this is uh, unusual. Um, okay, uh, I uh, I still have my big knees, big B's hand up, so I I kind of do one of these where I say, uh, oh wise guy, see, oh, can I just poke him in the eyes? <laughs> All right, as you say, wise guy, hey, he's just trying hands floating up in the air, and his head snarls at and tries to bite at the hand. Go ahead and roll your spell attack. Uh, 19. Yay! Yes. Yes. All right. So you get to go ahead and, uh, let's see, with this one. 4d8? Yeah, 4d8 points of force damage. Awesome. Into the eyes. Nine. Into the eyeballs. <laughs> 19. 19 points of force damage as you <laughs> jam both of its fingers into the sides <laughs> of its head. Both of its eyes recoil on it. <laughs> reaches out and starts thrashing at the air around as the hand kind of just dodges around from it. Uh. Uh, I hide behind Trinket. All right. <laughs> <laughs> With the smell of sort of smoldering fur in my nose. Yeah. 
Uh, and uh, as a bonus action, I will. Who's up next? Who's coming soon? Is I'm, Percy, I'm, Percy I'm, next? I'm up Percy's next. Back. Okay, I will inspire Percy. Thank you. Uh, with a, I'll just start uh, like doing doing this move, and I, and <laughs> I, 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 I pour some scaling on you. Ah. When you need a hand. And I get closer. Pour oh some God! Scaling on me. <laughs> you, you, be, you begrudgingly take a d10 inspiration dice from Scanlan. <laughs> is the creature blinded from the pokey poke? Uh, it is not. Damn, Damn it. It. Uh, it, is a, it is a resilient creature, and the impact was mainly absorbed by the ocular sockets as opposed oh. to the eyes themselves. I, I didn't ask for science, Jesus. <laughs> 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 so just this bone around. Never mind. Uh, all right, and Scanlan's turn. Percy, you're up. <laughs> pokey. All right, I'm going to try and fix this broken. Piece of ghost Do I lose another spell for that, or is that just the same? No, you, you can maintain concentration okay. on it. Um, I hit a 12, a which minutes. is just barely enough to fix it. Ooh. Okay, so you take your action to go ahead and repair the gun. And I'm gonna oh, burn ahead. an action surge. Okay. So I'm just, it just, I'm like, I finally get it, and it just starts going. <laughs> and I'm just gonna empty out the chamber. <laughs> All right, um, three shots. It just starts going. Oh, Nelly. Okay. Using your bonus action to reload. Figure on the trigger guard. Figure on the trigger guard. <laughs> I don't have to reload yet. I've got six shots. There were still three in the chamber. That's right. Uh, okay, yeah. Unless yeah. you actually, um, as part of the misfire, you would lose one, so you have two in the chamber right now. I have two in the chamber. Yes. Okay, so I'll do two and then use the, the third one to reload. Okay. All right. Uh, so, oh, this will be fun. Uh huh. Don't shoot. Uh, Sharpshooter shot. Uh, that's twenty-two. Twenty-two hits. Nice. Uh, I'll just take the second shot right now. Um. That's really, really, really. Are no, we going there? No, no. Did you misfire again? You didn't misfire. Did you roll? Did you? Misfired again. I rolled a two. No. Yeah. I got one shot off. You got one shot off. Go to roll damage. Sharpshooter damage. So I guess the plus ten damage. Yeah. yeah that's fun. <laughs> Couldn't you have added inspiration dice to that? Uh, to a misfire? No. The misfire no. still hits. There's a lot of strengths to to the the gunslinger. This is the one penalty if you um, roll bad. So that's okay. At least this is a badass. Is I at least did some damage. 16, 17, 18, 19. Um, twenty-four damage plus four points of fire damage. Nice. Okay. So as you go and you fix it, it takes the first shot with a, a burst of flame that just shoots out the front of the barrel. The second shot, this time, the, uh, the actual metal in the front arcs upward, and it looks like this is going to take a moment to really seriously repair it. Um, paper boxes coming through pretty rough in this fight. Yeah. Um, Oh no. So that's your turn. But not oh, as no. rough as Stitch over there, huh? Yeah. <laughs> We're in a group. Uh, yeah. And uh, the uh, the creature does regain use of its uh, lightning breath. All right. Oh, um, I, oh, I was about to say, and. So you want to move anywhere? Yeah, I want to get a little further back. I want to roll the other side of the cave again, if possible. Which way? I mean, over here? Uh, yeah. Like, like. See that little outcropping of rock, right here, uh, further, further back. Like, uh, yeah, like that, like over thing. there. Okay. Yeah. Smart <laughs> move, Percy. Alrighty. That thing Why are you me. abandoning me? <laughs> um. Okay. Oh. That ends Percy's turn. The beast. I don't like the dice. Okay. Yeah. Don't okay. think too hard. Yeah. It oh. just burps out lightning. <laughs> Jesus, I don't think I've ever seen it. Jesus, I know. Guys, guys, what is he doing? Guys, he's thinking. Guys, we broke the DM. We know. <laughs> you know that you know the silence During before optimal. the storm. This is bad. He erupts. He hasn't said anything. All right, so. Uh, <laughs> oh no! Oh, no. Stared at that for a really long time. Here comes the other three. Here comes the boom. <laughs> <laughs> so. uh this uh, this be here is going to shift back here, here. Um, you to attack of opportunity on it, Keila. Let's go and take a swing. Burn it. Fire slap. Um, so sixteen. Sixteen just misses. It gets right out of your grasp. The flames just lick across the outside of its scales as it pulls back, rears down right in your face. <laughs> Godzilla style just unleashes oh a burst of electrical energy. Dodge it! And Dodge it! Um, I need you guys to both make dexterity saving throws. With inspiration. Oh, 
Okay. With inspiration. I don't, I don't need it. Okay. Yes. Don't need it. That's not. That's not good. Nineteen. Um. Full work. Okay. Uh, thirty-three points of lightning damage to you, Rog. Sixty-six to you. Can I use my stone's endurance? You can. Okay. What? What's the maximum health of Mises form? Looking. I'm out. I'm out okay. in keyless form. And how much damage goes over? Um, not that many, thank God. Twelve. Twelve, okay, so you, as Mingxi all of a sudden gets blasted, you can see the form shrink down to Keyless normal form on the ground, hands still flaming, a little bit of a singe to the back of her hair, and kind of stands back up. No, I'll, take, I'll take that. <laughs> oh no! All right, uh, that'll end its turn. Vex, you're up. Oh God! Um, okay, I'm going to... Um, can I, as a bonus action, give Trinket a, a healing potion? Uh, you can. I, that would be more of an action to feed it to something else. Okay, never mind. <coughs> I'm going to attack it. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> How down is Trinket? He's, um, oh, I missed. That's a 14. Uh, 14 does not hit, unfortunately. Okay. First air just poosh, ricochets and shatters Great. across Good the heart's body. Good times. Good times. Um, 16. Both smiths. Both arrows just aim. explode across its hide. It's too thick. This dice is out for the rest of the game. <laughs> and I am going to run to the. I'm going to run. Is there an outcropping where we are? I can't see. Uh, right here, a little bit, if you pull fully in on this side. I'm going to pull where? fully in on okay. that side. Don't forget laser pointers, by the way, guys. This is good for letting me know exactly where you're going. I can't see. Go. I know. Just this is now. All right, and Trinket's going to stay there, I'm going to run. And he's gonna keep protecting Scanlan. All right, Trinket's gonna stay right there, guarding the giant gnome. Oh, thank you. The giant gnome. Uh, giant hand, small gnome. Uh, Grog, you're up. <laughs> <laughs> I try and match the Godzilla roar. It's not really as good. Nice to swing three times Go with for my it. fire hammer. That's uh, uh, 18. 18, that hits. Okay. Uh, 20, 21. That 21 hits. And uh, 19. 19 hits. Awesome. Little damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Uh, 13. Yeah. Who's been hit? Good. 23. And uh, 17. Brock's been hit. 22. Alrighty. How do you want to do this? Oh! <gasps> But you never said it's something a little rough. I kept waiting for you to say it's something a little rough. It's hard to tell this entity. Damn it. Like so fast. I'd like to reach up with my uh, firebrand warhammer, yes. and I would like to smash it on top of its skull, and when it hits the ground, I'd just like to keep turning it into jelly and paste and sweet jams that I can bottle up and sell later. You guys watch this, this, this continuous barrage, this horrible bludgeoning. Every impact almost quakes the inside of this, ca of this, uh, this valley. Um, rocks are beginning to tumble and fall around it, and you can see just each horrible, sickening smack. <laughs> its head just collapses more and more. The mush begins to spill out from under it, and this giant pool of like dark violet liquid and gelatinous mush that was once the inside of its head begin to just grow around it as Scrog just keeps hitting and hitting and hitting and hitting and hitting and hitting. Grog? Hitting. Grog? Uh, I use Bigby's Maybe. hand to stop the hammer. Maybe you unrage, rage. Think of the beard. What happened? <laughs> well, you look real good. Oh, look, we made jelly. Yeah. Oh. Um, uh, speaking of jelly, I would like to go ahead and do a nature check to see if I can salvage some goods from. I, run, so, I walk up to it and kick it and say, that's <laughs> trinket, you dick. Okay. <laughs> can I roll a, a hit dice to recover some? If you, if you guys want to take a short rest, you can. Oh, that'd yes. That'd be great. I would like to fix my gun. Do we need to hide? Do we need to like that's climb up guys. to its little cave that it was in, maybe, and hide? Did it have a cave? Was it, 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 it had a cave. Didn't it come out of a cave? Okay. You saw, it, saw was, it was up on a higher platform. You didn't see a cavern. Oh, I, thought it was I rolled a 21 to like collect goods. Okay. Um, looking through the, the book that you have, uh, the creature, you eventually, it takes a while to look through as you guys are taking your short rest. Um, you can use your hit dice to heal yourself. Um, 
It's known as a Bahir. A Bahir? B e h i r. Um, h i r. Uh, and be here. Uh, be here. Here, right now, um, present. There are two things of two. I mean, anything in the face and teeth are gone. They're just mush. The entire head is destroyed. Sure. Um, the uh, the two things in the book that are worthwhile, like really, really worth money, are um, some of its hide can be repurposed for you know like lightning resist based armor. Ooh. Um, but currently it's unknown who has the speciality to actually work with that material. These creatures are difficult to harvest and a lot of their locations are unknown. A lot of them were hunted down for that long ago and almost thought to have gone extinct. Oh. Um, uh, however, yeah, so you don't know anybody, possibly Karen and, and Iman, but the, the hide can be possibly harvested. Um, there is also a gland in its throat that it uses to charge its lightning breath. Um, I'd like that. I want. I want that. Okay, go ahead and roll for the hide first if you guys want to go ahead and do that. Can I? Can I stealth and climb up and see if I can see a cavern? Sure. A little cave. Natural twenty. Oh yeah! snap! We'll take it. What do I add to that? Uh, this add your acrobatics. Uh, for the climb, this be athletics. Athletics. Oh, really? Oh, that's not what it was. I moved it. it was 14. I saw it. Okay. Oh no. 12. Well, it takes you a little bit to get up there. It's not. It's steep, and you slide down a few times. But eventually, because there is no immediate threat, you're given time to get up onto this upper platform. You can just see there are just various parts of the rock that jut outward and have some short-term pass passageways that this creature uses. As I'm so weak, but I'm holding to see if I see a cave. <laughs> um, roll a perception check. Once you're up there, uh, you take time and help with some other folks. You manage to harvest, um, I'd say, about ten pound worth of scales at most. It's not a whole lot because a lot of it's been torn and destroyed from the impacts and the damage you guys did, and parts of it are just uh, not really armory functional. But you manage to get enough to maybe make one set if somebody manages to work really well with it. Yeah, God. 23. Holding. 23. Um, currently, you <laughs> have no close. eye shot on uh, any particular <laughs> Don't eat it, bro. Uh, tunnels, <laughs> nothing that resembles uh, an abode or a cavern from this position. Don't lick it. I see my sister s struggling oh, yeah, to climb up next to her. And do the same. You're almost as weak as I am, dude. Uh, yeah. Here we go. Acrobatics? What is it? What no, are athletics. 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 Athletics? Oh, shit. Acrobatics. Yeah, come on. Know, Can know. I flip up there? <laughs> it doesn't work. No. No, <laughs> no I, Wait, I can't. I'll use luck. I'll do it again. Go for it. To get You're going to lose one of your luck? No, we were about to rest. Wow. Uh, no, I don't. Really? You yeah. rolled worse than me. Oh, my fingernail. <laughs> that really stings. Damn it. The twins give a terrible. terrible display of rock climbing in the middle of this. <laughs> I love Parkour. Parkour. <laughs> <laughs> um, you uh, go ahead, go ahead and roll for the, uh, the plan. video game moment of like jump, right. jump, <laughs> jump, jump. That's like Skyrim trying to get home. Eighteen, it's not bad. Do I get high? I'll take that eighteen for twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. Uh, your first. Max, can I see your dagger? Uh, she's yeah, up, there She's up a hill. There, there he's up a hill. <clears throat> Nice. So you, uh, he didn't even get up a little bit. It takes most of your short rests. You will not be able to use your hit dice for healing on this because you're spending the time harvesting instead. Um, but uh, you managed to, thankfully, the damage that Grog had inflicted upon its head destroyed most of its you know, matter right up to the throat gland, which is mostly untouched. It's salvageable. You don't know how much it's worth, but probably a decent amount, as the book says that they're, they're rare, especially to find intact. So, hey, uh, Grog, what a dick! Huh? Uh, mm. I, we've got jaws. It's not even like a tooth. Like put one. I'm gonna, tooth. Yes, I'm going to put that in a jaw. I'm going to put that away. You did a plans. number on that one. Grog face. goes to work. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Boom! Kill the bear. Take its glands. Money. <laughs> I may have something I can do with oh. this, actually. With what? The, the gland? Yes. <gasps> yeah, you're very clever. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm gonna work on that. I don't, you, I don't speak right, so you, you, you place it within a uh, preservation jar yes. in the back of the bag of holding. Back in the, back in the bag of holding. Okay. And I'm going to try and fix this mess for a, a minute. All right, go ahead and make your uh, your check. Sure. 18. 18, okay. Only 12 um, now. It does cost you half the... Uh, it wasn't a, it wasn't a, a, a dual fail. It was oh, right, it was a single fail. fail. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I have the dual no fail, but it was separate. Yes. Um, so yeah, you take some time with it during the short rest to uh, to 
tinker with it. You manage to bend the metal back into place, test it for a bit, make it so that the, uh, the, the, um, uh, the, the aspects of it that move move smoothly, and as they should, and eventually you get pretty confident that it's back to a functional piece of uh, weaponry. All right. So as you guys finish this rest, uh, one more hit does. Go for it. The uh, the sky is starting to get a little bit into the uh, orangish color. You, though you cannot see the sun from its current location, you gather you have probably about an hour and a half or so before full sundown. Let's get out of this little taco in case that was the daughter of something Wait, else. Wait, you guys stayed the night, never mind, in the cavern. So no, actually, no, I take that back. Hmm. Oh. I just realized you guys had stayed the night last time over on the seaside cavern and walked here, and it only took you a few hours to get here. So no, actually, it'd be about midday noon. Okay. So I take that back. Never mind. Uh, you should still go. Hands <laughs> still get out above. The, um, but there is some cloud cover coming in. Um, Definitely should still go. From the north side. Doesn't look like anything too dense, but. Percy. Yes. Do you know how much longer we need to continue on this path? Uh, I, honestly, I've never taken this road before. Uh, this is further east than I've ever come. Okay. Can we see how far ahead of kind of what it, does it look like this goes on for a while? This it, chasm? it kind of, you know, moves around so it's hard to get too much of a visual. Is the, the geology the geology starting to look familiar? Does my tracking uh, tell me anything? Uh, you can go ahead and and make a uh, a nature check. Let's also, say. for all of this, I'd like to with advantage. Walk about forty feet in front of everyone and just sort of creep along. Okay. Seventeen. He's a so weird loner, that guy. He is. It's my job. So make a stealth check. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah, the, the mountains here are like it got its name for the White Stone Mountains. The rock. It's the rock starting to look like home, though. Uh, yeah, I mean, the mountain range here is is a large part of the material that is mined, or what is mined beneath them is the the very very rare mm. kind of white quartz like <laughs> rock that is used for many many purposes, and it's generally only found in this mountain range. It's kind of what the a lot of the uh, a lot of White Stone's original economy was based on. 22. 22, good enough. Mm-hmm. All right, so. 17 on nature. Okay. I mean, you gather the same thing. The uh, the, the rock formations here match the same as the, the coastal uh, mountains. The, the mountain here is, is all made of the same material. A few deposits here and there of just normal uh, bits of granite and other forms of simple stone. Um, granite. Oh. Simple stone. <laughs> hmm. That was so <laughs> much better than shopping. <laughs> <laughs> um. As you guys are, are pressing forward, uh, at this point, I. Uh, you guys are taking your time waiting, and Tiberius is getting impatient and is uh, kind of crossing his arms. And well, um, I, I feel like I, I, I should have gotten more materials. I don't think I'm quite prepared enough what? for this. Um, Tiberius, you prepared a lot. Tibbs. Not enough. Never mind. Like a sack of mirrors. I think you've got enough. What do you need? I have an idea. Be back in a few days. What? what? No! <laughs> no, don't leave. He sits down and starts making his teleportation. No, no, Tiberius. we need that. We need that. Tiberius. We need that. Tiberius. You are a heavy hitter. We don't know where we're going, what we're doing. He's strong. You're strong, in a way. Maybe hang he's out with us a little bit longer. He's actually got a lot of hit points. Really? Yeah, he's got a lot. <laughs> More than I do. You're, you're stronger in frame than I am. You sure you want to go? Tiberius leans in and whispers to you in a strange tongue, and it sparks in your ear somewhere. The player's not here, and the DM's trying to not make it too complicated for him to keep track of an additional no, character for the session. I understand. I know. That. I'm just trying to give you a hard time. <laughs> I'll remember that. Uh, oh no! <laughs> I grab Lockheed and we hold him hostage. Yeah. <laughs> you can't leave. <laughs> what do you do? Don't worry. I'll be back soon. Oh. And now I know how to find you. Send an iPad with Pike on it. <laughs> <laughs> he finishes his uh, his teleportation circle and then with a flash vanishes. Shit. Oh, really, Tiberius? Really? It's, he does that a lot. It's very much in his character. Uh, Where'd Tiberius go? He went to get an army, I think. Uh, That's fun. Uh, or more mirrors. Mm. Might be more mirrors. All right. So an army with mirrors. An army with mirrors. I can do magic. I do this great coin trick uh, thing uh-huh. where I flip it on my thumb and then it lands in my hand. And then you that's pull the end it out of, of somebody's ear. That's the, it's right here, so except uh, I don't have anything. We start walking. That's oh. fine. Yeah, no, I'm walking. Yeah. At this point. Progressing forward, <laughs> <Just start>. um, <coughs> you begin to uh, 
jauntily stealth 40 ahead. feet out, yeah. The, um... Like a beagle. I keep a perception <laughs> out to see anything. Right. I'm keeping an eye open for anything familiar. Um, can I... Think, oh. oh, we wanted to... Can I just, uh, just bump into Vex and ask her to maybe scan ahead for dragons? What? What do you think I'm doing? Just dragons, though. Six Scanning. miles. Don't you have six miles of dragons or something? Thank you. <laughs> did you have to, do you have to do the hands? Good al album name. Thinking. Six miles of dragons? I want to see if I've seen any dragons. Do you see any dragons? Well, you did a different technique. Uh, you take a moment and you kind of anticipate the circumstance, and there is within, what's the distance on it? Six, Six miles. miles. Six miles. Yeah, man. Uh, you ascertain that there are quite a few what? sources of life in this vicinity uh, of, of some sort of dragon kin or dragon like entity. What? Um, I don't like Do that. I, is the Bahir, was the Bahir a dragony sort of thing? No. Uh, no, technically not, okay. from what you can gather, but the, you do gather there are a few blips that are three miles off north, like mm. in the center of the mountain range. Um, you don't know how big or how dangerous, but you sense there are some dragon or dragon kin uh, this life. Dragony forces. something. This dragony Could something. Could it be dragon around. eggs? Could it be dragon. Dragon born? Dragon no, bacon? Scanning. You're not picking up Tiberius. Listen, like six there's dragony away. things. Listen, yeah. when I poo somewhere, I can see everything. You don't I didn't see poo. I'm sensing with my mind. <laughs> Listen, if we do run across a dragon, remember we have the Dragon Slayer Longsword, which is a plus one to attack and damage rolls, and if you hit a dragon or a dragon creature, it gets an extra 3d6 of damage. What are you reading? How did you even know that? It's the most that? complicated sentence I think I've ever heard you speak. Sorry, I blacked out. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nothing, nothing. Nothing, a good growth. Uh, what requires it to, what do you have to do? <laughs> Attunement. A, a Oh, you, you, to, you just yeah. take a short rest with the weapon, kind of learning its properties, and eventually kind like of caressing it. Essentially, yeah, like whispering, stroking it. it, making sure it feels comfortable. Buying it dinner, nice, mm -hmm. nice spread, so it you know yeah. feels welcome. That's more than maybe I usually steak, do. Maybe a steak, maybe a steak, some some yeah. salad, right. shrimp cocktail. Yeah, right. Just in things. case you need a sword. As we progress, I, I the say, uh, <laughs> into my earring, Scanlan. Uh, I've seen some of the logs she's left behind. They're not small. <gasps> Does Vex? Uh, oh my Seriously, what? Wow. That's so disgusting. <laughs> wow. I missed it. Okay. It must have been good, though. She usually that buries them really, quite well. really, really gross, both of you. So just enough. You don't really? sense anything. All right. <laughs> well, we're not heading north, so it's... The, we're, we're not? Heading, you guys are heading east-ish, like, okay. pressing down in towards west-ish. Oh. We're heading west-ish. And nothing west that I can sense. Uh, we keep walking. Well, you, you guys came up on the eastern side of... Oh, sorry, the western side of the mountains. You're now heading east. Oh, we came up on the There's western side of the mountains. There's nothing within, like, that we're going to run of the mountains. Just flip that. Western side of the mountains? Uh, Western side of the mountains. So White Stone's to the east. White Stone would be to the east of you guys. Oh, okay. Yes. I thought we went up the, the eastern side of the mountains. No. Mm. Sure. Side I'm right. so mm. confused. You wouldn't that, think I'd lived here before. That, that would have brought you through the forest, and you yeah. were trying to avoid yeah. that. That's oh, that, I oh you're Western very, side. that's very true. West side oh, is God. the shore side, right? Side. Yeah, well, they're both, they're, they're both it's a giant peninsula to the it's, north. It's so been either side would have been coast. So we're not going to run into any dragons? At least we're not going north. And you're aware that they're not anywhere near close to you to currently be an issue. Okay, we're fine. In like two or three miles, we'll take another check. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you went to me. All right, so. It's like being, guys, it's being blessed. We're going to just keep going towards right. the town. You guys press on following this winding path. It narrows at certain points and then widens for a bit. You come across um, partway through. Uh, you guys, both uh, the twins at the front, notice around the edges as it begins to descend down into kind of the, the, the beginning of the valley descent, you see an edge of the mountain that looks more angular than the usual natural formations of it. Uh, it almost looks like it comes to a point, like, a, like an edge, a very sharp edge and a smooth side. Not sure I understand yet. We see a drop off? It begins to, to descend in towards the valley and on the side of one of the, uh, this giant kind of uh, chasm. chasm you guys are at the bottom of, <laughs> you see an outcropping ahead that's Angular and pointed, like, like designed by done. man, like, like it was sculpted, yeah. constructed. Yeah. That might have some centuries. sort of uh, outlook or something, something that was not uh, formed by nature here. Do, do, I, know, do I know what, is, what this is? It's a bubble. Uh, uh, you history check. I'd say go and make an in intelligence check. Just roll, add your intelligence modifier. Not a history I can check. do it with you if you want. When you made a history check, you know many things that exist here in the mountains, but you, at this distance, you don't see enough of it to actually... I just uh, have a... I have a oh! I did, he's not going to let me do it. He rolled a natural 20. 
for an intelligence check because I'm an idiot. But I, <laughs> he doesn't know the. Doesn't know. Doesn't I, I want. I kind of want Grog to speak truth mountain. right he's here. He's an expert on mountains. Yeah. Actually, this this works out kind of interestingly. Uh, <laughs> as you guys as you guys are walking forward and you sing this and you're kind of keeping back, Grog, you instinctively look over and go, "Oh, that's a that's a stone giant fortress." <gasps> Oh! Shut up! <laughs> I did something smart. <laughs> you know, with your bloodline and knowing where you come from, and you've had a few in- close encounters in the uh, the Cliff Keep Mountains with a few of this kind. You've seen a few fortresses, and from just the details of it, the way the uh, the roof and the the scope of it, of its design, and you know the way the mountain range kind of lends itself to that type of topography. Uh, yeah, this this is obviously. Oh, and I drank fortress. some of that nasty dank in the fight with the. Hammer, round yeah. two. Wait, should we? Those are bad guys, right? Yeah, it's bad. We should not go that way. We should definitely stay away from that. Maybe go up on the other side of the chasm, opposite of it. Or you can move around the side. You're welcome. Maybe to hide. You. Make sure we're hidey, hidey. We can stealth through it. We yeah, can invisible pass through a trace. it. Pass without a trace. I have passed without a trace. And climb along right. the opposite and side. And do we have invisibility? Oh no. No, we don't have. You mm. have invisibility. I have some invisibility. I have the dust of tracelessness. Maybe we'll stealth it. Can I hide Scanlan under my cloak and he uses invisibility on someone else? Uh, well, he, he'll, if, you were, if he was to cast invisibility on you, no, and you started no, him? No, on somebody else. What, so just would hide what about one of those things uh, that always could, works on me? A, a diversion. You would move very slow and <laughs> yeah. you had a disadvantage on your stealth oh. checks because no, you guys are having I don't want to bring any attention. Right. Right. I, I could create it. Like diversion in a, fairly easily. In a different way. Like what? Like where? I mean, I could. Um, what's yes. nearby? Is there anything nearby? Any animals? Have we seen any wildlife? Uh, there have been birds that fly through. Like an occasional harpy in the distance. You hear screeching, and you guys kind of just keep quiet until it vanishes or disappears in the distance. Wow. That was oh, perfect timing. Yes. How did that um, freaking happen? His ways are mysterious, my love. You are magic. Um, lucky. Holy cow! <laughs> uh, you've. A, a, what were some uh, seafaring, like seagulls and various coastal birds, have slowly been disappearing, turning into more uh, eagles and hawks, things that you know eat small rodents on uh, more of a lush side of the hill. You see, as you get co- closer to the valley itself, with the actual forest that surrounds Whitestone, is more and more of these birds of prey are beginning to show up. Um, other than that, you see very few small things, other than occasional lizards about that big in your hand that live on the. Uh, the hot should, we, should we uh, uh, observe this encampment for a bit just to see what's happening? Or slowly Can as we, we see any kind of movement? It? Could, it's really could, far uh, away. It's still a ways away right now. You're just catching the edge of it. Like, are we a mile away? A, th- a thousand feet away? I'd, I'd say you're about a good 600, 700 feet from it. You know, we could try to work our way up the opposite side of the chasm. That would also allow us a good view of it as well. I can. I. I happen to have hallucinatory terrain right now, so What does that even mean? It means exactly what it sounds like. (laughs) I don't speak your language. (laughs) (laughs) Um, I can make a a terrain that's not real. Do you remember when we psyched out the Duergar? It would block their view of us, maybe, perhaps? Is it movable? Could. Yeah, it can't move with us. Could you make some shrubs come along with us? You guys actually used it previously to uh, to camp for a night along a cliffside. Yeah. Right. The the cliff extend further than it was, and you could just camp inside Yeah, we sent a bunch of Duergar into a chasm. Yeah. The ground extended further. That's really awesome. I think let's try to climb up the other side and then see what we can see. <coughs> I mean, I can do a lot of things. I can make a thunderstorm. I can make a sleet storm. Ooh, Ooh that would keep could them in their it, fortress. Could you make it? Or fun? very cold if they came out. That could. They like I cold. I make a big storm. Oh, storm. storm. Giants. We're also on a chasm, so if it gets wet and slippery and muddy, we might all go down. That's true. Maybe get up at the top of it and then do. Let's that. let's. I, I like the plan of going up the other side of, of of the chasm. Can we try to climb the other side? I do Certainly. Too. Giants like to throw fucking boulders. Yeah, I don't want to be down on the bottom. Yeah. As you guys make your way up the other side, you're kind of helping each other. I want everyone to go ahead and make an athletics check. I put on my climbing gear, which an athletics I check? definitely own. Okay, give me an advantage. I actually your own climbing gear too. Does that help? I would help you. Yes. I have mine too, so I'll put that on as well. I don't know if I, I don't know if I have climbing gear. It's attached to a rope and a grappling hook that's so, in my and hand. And it was the same. <laughs> All right. So, Fuck what am I yeah. doing? Adding you what? You're, uh, you're just, you have advantage of you add your strength modifier, or your athletics is what it would be. Do we add anything because of this climbing gear? Or is advantage it? because of the climbing gear. Ah, 26. 26. We're all using climbing gear, or just no. No, just those who have it. I give you my climbing gear because I already get advantage. How about that? We're Does rock that climbing. No. So I think it is mountain. Okay, I'll let you do that. You can do that. All right. 
All right. Well, I got 19. Jesus. Oh, so you didn't. 19. Yes, I did. 11. Is it 26? 26. Vex, what'd you get? I got 15. 15. 11. 19. Okay. Um, a couple of missteps and almost sliding uh, Keyleth one point. You grasp her by the hand and uh, uh, Grog pulls her back up onto the nope, platform. Nope, up here. Over time, you guys make your way along this kind of very rocky and precarious, you know, anywhere from five to three to two feet in width, sometimes even lesser than that, and you guys are having to shimmy across. You make your way around, you can see this large uh, fortress that is built out of extremely, uh, you know, Large and and placed stones and stonework. It looks ancient. Uh, for size wise, it's two stories for a giant, which means it's probably close to six or seven stories Ooh. of height, built into the side of a mountain, and it goes down like almost like like two giant steps. Oh wow. god! Um, it's okay. it's built on the uh, the in essentially where the giant bowl, the the caldera, if you will, of this uh, this valley, this mountain range would be. It's built on the inside of it, so it actually is constructed as you continue to descend into the valley. Um, Looking at it, you can see openings, uh, windows. Uh, there are areas up top you can see giant piles of rocks and boulders that are used for you know anti siege for just throwing off the top and stockpiles of that. You do see boulders around the ground near that may have been thrown and not picked up. Um, they will make perception check. Um, I feel. That's an intimidation check. Should I yes, <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you. Yes. How did Trinket get up? Though? Hmm. Trink, trinket, trinket, climb. trinket. Uh, Bears climb. Bears are good climbers. Bears they can get up a tree. Yeah. Roll an athletics check with. Uh, this I'm sorry, but it felt Disadvent? wrong to like lie. It's an honor system. Could I have given? It's, could I have given the climbing gear to Trinket? No. no. <laughs> no. You could have. It just. But we could tie the rope around Trinket's yeah. waist. Yeah. Roll, roll your dice. With an athletics. With yes. Does he get advantage because of I don't that? I how he said nope. dice. Like he gets disadvantage medicine. because he's a big bear. I told him not to say path. it. Why'd you say it? I'm just yes. trying to be honest! Which Whatever. is appreciated. Strength modifier? Yep. He got a 15 tier. Okay. It's been difficult and it slowed your guys' progression, but you managed to keep Trinket along with you. This large bear is now like pushing against the side and Oof. has managed to keep up, but it's been it's I've been, been a behind him experience. the whole time, pushing on his buttocks. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I should um, push him down this, the hill. You got this, buddy. You got this. So, sorry, once again, perception rolls. Sorry, yes. 20. 19. Uh, 17. Can I use passive perception? Uh, this is active, like, actually looking for something. Passive is more passive. Well, then I oh. got, uh, 26. Okay. 15. 19. Alright. Um, you got 26, you said? Yep. You Looking looking from this distance, and keeping the best eye, uh, visual you can see, there is see. no movement at all from the interior of the fortress. And uh, the two front doors, you see these two large uh, stone doors that are the entrance to it. One of the doors is actually broken in half and left kind of partially ajar and open. We gotta go in now. No, 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 uh, so no. They could be dead in if there. If something could have taken gold. out giant giants, what could it be that could have done that? Vampire it could, giants. It could, it could be the Briarwoods. We should Vampire see everything giants. that's up here. We need to know. How awesome would that be? Told terrible giants, giants in the sky. <laughs> can we please go see? Can someone pl- <laughs> Do you want me to go in? I, 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 can, I can burn yes. it. I can Take burn your it and go in. Ass. I can't you can believe I'm about to a say this. Mission real quick? If you're going to bird in, they're going to see you fly in. No, but she's a bird. I'm a bird. Doesn't matter. Yeah. They're still going to see you. Recon it. I'm a, I'll am ai go bat. Yeah. <laughs> they're so small. Okay. But they now you're not going to be able to see anything because they have terrible eyesight. Not in a Towson. small. I'm just she kidding. They hear. really she don't have. Hear. That's a myth. That is actually a myth. They have echo vision. They have actually very reasonable eyesight. That's a myth. You can look it up on Wikipedia, it's true. It's a very reasonable eyesight. It could also be a sparrow. So, yeah. in, in about like the, the two in the afternoon day sun, uh, you become, that's what it is, but, but you're fine. You go inside. You become a bat. Bats come out during the day. I know. You, you, <laughs> she makes her way down through, uh, you swoop up to one of the windows and you glance inside and looking around and you can see most of the furniture inside is in tatters. There are <gasps> large, giant-sized tables and chairs that have been broken in half and strewn across the room. Um, make a perception check. Oh, come on, come, come on. on, come on. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. 28. 28. <laughs> Glancing inside, you also see there are It's my echo uh, vision. splatters and puddles of blood, large <gasps> bits of blood across the ground that is dried. Um, but from your current vision from this, there is no sign of uh, any living or individuals or bodies. It's just like this area, there was a battle took place here and there's nothing currently present to signify who or what. How big is this room? Uh, this room is about Size. 
25 feet tall. Does it look like it goes oh. deeper? Uh, it goes a little deeper, and then there is a, a slight, uh, this is the upper floor, there is a, a grade, almost like a, uh, a slow, I word this case for a second, a... Like a, de- a downgrade? Like yes. A, a ramp. A, a ramp. Slope. Thanks. Thank you. A ramp. A ramp, yeah. a ramp that, that disappears below into the, uh, the lower floor. A sigil. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, go into that. Careful, <laughs> careful. No, no, don't roll, don't roll, don't roll, don't roll. No, no, don't roll. No, no, don't roll. <laughs> we turn on him. Fear of God. <laughs> Grog sacrifices the nerd. Whoosh! I'm gonna drop that So yeah, uh, you, you, you do see the, um, the ramp heads downward. I'm gonna go into the room that I see is for sure empty and kind of go towards the threshold of the ramp. Okay. Make your way down to the threshold of the ramp, looking down. Uh, downstairs as well, It is there is just, uh, looks like there were some fur rugs set aside that have been just kicked aside and bunched up on the on the edge of the room. Like it's been ransacked uh, or just like a really nasty fight? Like some sort of a major fight went down. Uh, no sign of any bodies or body parts. No sign of leftover weapons or armor um, of, of, from whatever giants lived in here. You just see what looks like large amounts of dried blood across the uh, stone floors. Like something came in and slaughtered and completely stripped the place? Or the giant slaughtered something horribly here and are currently out and about. You don't know, but. Uh, Does, can I tell what the blood looks like? How dusty is its shit? Did you want to land and make an investigation check? Call us in? Do it. Do it, Batwoman. <laughs> you are the knight. How much dust goes poof? <laughs> you are the uh, knight. Quite, quite a bit, although. Oh? Um, not a huge amount, but enough to the point where it's it's not fresh. And and closer look, the blood's been dry for a while. Make an investigation check. What is the sound of a back coughing? <coughs> Thank you. Um. <laughs> Simple things. Very good. Investigation. What about it? Oh, uh, twelve. Twelve. Um. You can't really make it out, unfortunately. You know it's it's dried. It's probably been a little bit, but you can't quite gauge how long it's been. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, any any other rooms? Is this or is this it? Uh, there's the upper floor and there's the lower floor. There, there are two just large rooms in their own. It looks like uh, I mean you you haven't actually gone down the grade yet, so. So it's in, you said it's seven stories, so it's like room downgrade room downgrade room. Is seven stories seven? for your size. It's two stories for a giant size. It's a large top room and a large bottom room. Does there look? Is there another room going off the bottom room? There are just two rooms: the top floor, the bottom floor. Just the top. You're currently okay. at the on, on the top floor, split looking level down. Condo. The I'm gonna I'm gonna go out to the uh, front door. Okay. Yeah, it's split level condo. Nice flat, Upper East Side, uh, land, and I'm gonna bamf out of my bat form and say, "All right, looks like the coast is clear. If you guys want to check this place, yeah, let's out. go check it. Yeah. Let's check it out." All right, the rest of you make your way back down uh, towards the front of the fortress and enter the inside. As you go through the front door, you can see the door. Uh, the impact that destroyed it was from the inside out. Oh, um, ah. really? So not like it was it wasn't beaten in; it was beaten from the inside out. Right. Oh. Um, and there is a streak of dried blood against that portion of the door. Mm. Uh, looking inside too, you see there there uh, are a large cluster of matted uh, hides and furs, that look like it made for bedding for close to four or five giants that are kind of put in the corner. And there's a musty smell of whatever they were using to. Uh, Make it comfortable and and, and uh, ripe for their own personal needs. Uh, stealth. Okay. Yeah. I was kidding yeah. Before, yeah. We, can let's stealth. Giants become vampires. I don't know. I hope not. Giants. You should use the dust of tracelessness, Grog, just so our okay. footsteps are not seen. Okay. So what do you guys want to do in here? Stealth. I'm gonna go downstairs. How dark is you it? You are downstairs at the entrance. Oh, I want to look for so any. Down the grade, I mean. Okay. Yeah. I want to look for any weapons that are lied about. All right, uh, make a perception check. I want to ransack the joint. Actually, it'll be more investigation. It'll be investigation check for the... Me investigate? That's yeah. funny. Eight. Okay. Uh, investigate a perception. I find dirt. You, you find <laughs> a giant's fortress. <laughs> investigate a perception. Uh, for the, the investig... Perception is just seeing things at first glance. Perception... Okay. I mean, investigate is actually going through and, like, rummaging right. through and finding... All right, I'm going to investigate. All right. Not Shall I? That Shall I? You for, want to? For uh, downstairs? Yep. Go for it. Uh, 17 for my investigation. 23. Okay. As you guys are going through, um, you you looking at the blood and the way the splashes are, the blood that was spilled here was very thick and large amounts of it. Um, and it's probably been uh, anywhere from 
two to three months since this entire fortress was ransacked. Wow. Um, you do notice that some of the blood is dragged through, like something was dragged out of the puddle, um, but not for a long distance. Like so they were like, whatever was there was either cleaned off at some point or lifted up and carried out from whatever was originally pulled through those puddles of blood. Um, you also do notice in the uh, the pile of, of furs and refuse and uh, their bones, other things that were eaten and kind of left there to rot in the corner, um, you find roughly 120 gold pieces. Um, over, over time, you find a number of shattered glass vials. Like they once contained various elixirs. There's one that's unshattered. I take it. All right, and uh, underneath it all, covered in, in quite a bit of filth, but a little bit of, of uh, uh, metallic sheen streaks through, uh, you see what looks to be a very, very well-crafted longbow. <gasps> What is that? What is it? What you, what, what you find? Nothing. What is that? Nothing. What is that? There you go. Uh, what is this? What are you going to do with it? What is this? I'll use it as a hammock. Shoot yourself. Does it look like Can I tell what it is? Uh, I mean, t- taking it, it it's, appears to have some sort of magical radiance to it. It looks like it's very well crafted. You recognize the um, the construction is elvish in nature. Elvish. Hey. Um, and there, there are bits of mithril scrolling uh, all throughout the bow itself with platinum caps on the edge of is the long Is it evil? I don't know. Keyleth, do you know anything about magic-y stuff? Tiberius bathed out. I can try. I'm not as good as he is, but I'll try. And do what it. about you? Scanlan, do you know anything about Arcana? Oh, 20. <laughs> Natural 20? No, no, it's 18, 20 total. <laughs> okay. Um, yes, this is definitively a, uh, a, a magical uh, item. It is enchanted. It's definitely um, magical. Uh, if you want to take a short time to kind of work with it and attune yourself to it, you would get a better idea of what its effect is. Okay. You think you, can we do that? Shoot I want to look around a bit more anyway. I'm going to think about it real hard. You probably shoot can I walk, a can I walk out the front door? I'm going to buy a steak and I'm going to. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Can I walk out the front door and keep post on the porch? Yeah, whatever I'm following Grog and doing the same. And All I'm right. looking in the direction that we want to be walking now. I'm, we I'm looking around. I'm trying to find out what happened to the bodies. Uh, investigation check for that. Uh, here are the potion and the bow you guys managed to. The potion. It, it, I took the potion. I took the potion. <laughs> um, I know uh, apparently from this roll that um, I'm in the mountains. What is it? I got a six. A six. Um, it's hard to tell. It's it's a very strange scene, and you have no inclination as to what may have transpired here. What's who was the winner, who was the loser, and what's been done with what lot? <laughs> Sorry. What'd you find? What'd you find? Vex is making happy noises. Sorry. Sorry. She's, she's trying out the, she's taking the bow for a spin. She's attuning. Seeing what it can do. Do we Ooh. see anything outside on the porch? Uh, over time, the only thing you catch is occasionally you see uh, flocks of birds kind of moving through and kind of swooping through the area. Um, you, uh, Shit. Watch one flock kind of come up and begin circling. Oh, a little bit. Oh, that's Make its way back out? down towards the valley. Let's leave. Stealth. 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 Stealth it out. Stealthy outie. Uh, this is for Grog, who's keeping outside. Make stealth. Check I'm with him too. I'm there too, and I rolled a natural twenty. Yes, you did. <gasps> I might use your inspiration on this. Uh, it's probably not in, oh. in effect anymore. Oh. No, you're in the mountains. I am in the mountains, which means you have. Knowledge of mountains. You don't <laughs> Not advantage. advantage on. Uh, let me double check actually, what the specifics of the Goliaths. Pretty sure you don't need. No, you, ju- you just you do, you don't take issues with cold climates because you're high. You don't okay. actually get advantage on anything mountain wise. That is a ranger ability. So uh, can I add an inspiration? Scanlan's inspiration uh, dice. I inspired him quite a while ago. It's How long has those... been a while? How long's it last? Twenty minutes. Yeah, that would have faded by now. <laughs> That's a one. Oh, if it's natural one, it wouldn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Um, you can't so, add shit to one. So while you sneak off to the side, you see these birds. You're like, there's a lot of birds there. And you start yelling <laughs> out to everyone, there's a lot of birds out here, like shouting it loudly back into the fortress. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, pointing them out. Grog, Grog, those might be like centurion birds. Yeah, that's what I said, they're birds. Yeah, they Lots. might be spies. They might be your spies. Yeah, I spy birds. They're no, flying no. everywhere. Go, go away. Go, 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 go,
Inside. The birds immediately start circling the fortress very close. You can hear the screeching, and now you see the birds now, it's, it's, they're crows. They're very, very uh, thick murder of crows. Probably close to a hundred of them. I cast Path of Calling. the Trace. Everybody. Just circling the outside. Wait, wait, wait. I'm still like down there investigating, mm-hmm. and I pull a David Caruso, and I say, "It looks like these giants had big trouble." <laughs> <laughs> you hear in the distance an echoing sound go, "Yeah!" <laughs> Formless, sourceless. Oh, you all stand confused for a moment, and then continue to try and stealth. I run back inside. Back inside. Um, uh, eventually, the crows. Uh, oh, oh. Take back to the original wait, path. Wait, but before the crows leave, before the crows leave. Yeah. yeah. Can I do something? Yep. Yeah, do right. something to try. Don't ask me. Do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go like storm, and I'm gonna sleet storm them. I'm gonna start oh, sort yeah. of conjuring a sleet storm yeah. over top of this mountain, right where it's the. It's been the crows so long are. since you've killed something innocent. Let's bring it. <laughs> okay. Do it, do it, Keelan. As Keelan concentrates for a second, you see her eyes, the, the actual color of her irises begin to fade, this cloudy white, and then the entire eye itself becomes this icy blue. Uh, with a slight, oh, uh, kind of a cold mist beginning to drift off the corners uh, of her That's face. Badass. You That's start hearing hot. this pounding sound on the top of the forge, just <laughs> as sleet and hail begins to rain down. Uh, go ahead and roll damage for the spell. Uh, oh, jeez. Sorry. Sleet storm? Sleet storm, uh... Can I beat you? Oh, this is just oh, this is just dexterity saving throw. Uh, this, but are, you know they're they're like, it's heavily obscured. Uh, so yeah, it does not actually do any damage. Oh, um, but it, it knocks them all down. I know they're they're like frozen though, right? Don't they uh, get frozen with sleet storm? A, a sleet, sleet, sleet storm knocks things prone. It makes the area hard to see. Um, it knocks them prone. flames. They're uh, in the sky. I'm right. the, I want to see, I want to hear birds hit the floor. And a few do. You hear, and there are a few birds that get pelted and knocked to the ground, encased in sleet. But most of it just immediately takes that note uh, to get away from the storm and vanish and disappear back. Do they fall to the porch? Uh, let's say one. One does land. I run out there. I grab it. No, I'm, no, no. Yeah. I rip its head off uh, of my uh, teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Grog, you run out there. You, you grab the one that's on the ground. And it's like struggling and. It's, ah, and there's ice gathering yeah. outside. Ah, so you, up. you grab it, you go, you pick it up, and you hear Max go, grab and you go. <laughs> and she's staring at you, <laughs> silencing the crow. Or uh, <laughs> sound. Um, it, it, it is done. Uh, it you, is you, done. you hear the calling of the crows dissipate in the distance. Silence eventually takes the fortress once again, and you are left the amongst the smell of, of death. We should so probably now, leave. Yeah. Stealth and out. Out of sight, Hide ourselves. <laughs> that's, that's the truth. All right, out of here. You guys uh, <laughs> we are, we are we out, out of the fortress and begin to follow the path down into the outside of the forest. And just as you uh, make towards the base of the mountain to where the, uh, the forest canopy begins to take your vision, you can see just over the edge uh, a couple of small Castle towers and what looks to be a single central spile Shit. of the Castle of Whitestone. They know we're here now. They know we're here. Yeah, I think that was might. a century. Well, they were just birds. Yeah, but we don't know. Don't worry. Yeah, uh, they're crows. Don't crows. worry. We still have the element of surprise. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, no, we don't. We don't. <laughs> and with that, we're gonna go ahead and take a break. Ah. Uh. Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, we'll be back here in about I guess 20, 25 oh, minutes. Oh yeah. Let us begin where we left off. Okay. Ah. Right. Oh, we're looking at the city. There's the city. There, there's the city. Shall we uh, just storm it's a it? Board. Oh, storm. I was pointing at you. And me, and I'm the castle. city. I know, well, yes. So I can, I can now recognize where we are. Yes, you, you know this area very well. Uh, the, this, this entire forested area, um, uh, the Parchwood Forest, that encompasses the entirety of this, this valley. Uh, towards the center of it, center north, is where Whitestone sits. And uh, for your reference as well, since you've been here before, Ooh. you would know the city <gasps> relatively well. Ooh, maps. maps. This is the most exciting map I've ever been handed. So you can. Whoa! So that'll give you a. What the what? Little, little too close to hold, hold, hold it out in your seat over there for people to take a look don't, at, probably. Just don't. There you go. But, uh. It won't fit in my folder. That is a. Basic rundown of the uh, size, design, and shape of Whitestone. 
uh, with the castle white stone towards the top, built on top of a uh, leveled off uh, mountain that marks the southernmost point. This is the castle. This is the town. And we're yes, that is the town. We're at the southern yeah, we're part back of that. Here? Uh, you guys are actually coming in from the uh, what would be the western, a little bit northwestern side of the city. Okay. So over here. A little bit further down, about that that angle there, a little bit higher. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of the direction you're coming from currently. That's a detailed map, man. Okay. I don't have any free time anymore. <laughs> <laughs> um, they sell those stock, right? You oh yeah, yeah totally. Yeah, totally. Right. What's this little outcropping? Uh, 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 the little outcropping to, to the east of it was the uh, the graveyard to Whitestone. Oh. Uh, that was where most of the regular denizens were interred. Um, it has been expanded over the years as the city itself has been around for uh, quite a few generations. Does this graveyard have catacombs? Tombs? Underground passages. Uh, do you ask this in person? Yes. <laughs> does it? Uh, that graveyard does not. It, it, does is, not. it is a surface graveyard. It's a surface graveyard. <laughs> there is a mausoleum. It is a mausoleum. <laughs> but that. But that is actually is contained, actually contained, contained beneath, the beneath the castle. The castle. <laughs> <laughs> so knowledgeable. Riveting. Yes. <laughs> This is so, going to be that kind Percy, of game. do you know of any secret passages to get actually into the castle? I was wondering that myself. There is one, the one that you took to escape. Okay. Yes, Sandra there is one. You from... Stop! <laughs> <laughs> Where is it? He has an aneurysm. Quickly. Uh, yeah, it, uh, it is to the... Uh, I'm gonna let you go, yeah. The, the very, very uh, kind of western, western edge of the, uh, the mountain precipice that the castle was built on. It was built to be specifically an escape in case the place was under siege. Unfortunately, the circumstances of the evening happened so rapidly and with creatures that seemingly were unnatural, the family didn't have time to really make it out. Uh, and even you weren't fully aware of it. Uh, Cassandra, however, had overheard discussions about the past and took that as your escape route. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's like a hidden tunnel at the very base of that mountain. So is it possible I say we scope out the hidden entrance, see if it's guarded, see if they've discovered it. To the town and to the castle? Uh, the hidden entrance to the castle, and instead of using it, I actually think we should possibly spend the night and get a view of the town and see, and, and see if there's anything unusual. I agree, can straight. you camp out and hide? Watch from afar, what's that going to tell us? We could send one in. Well, we'll send a bird in. Or an invisible, or an invisible no. little person. Or both. Or both. An invisible bird no. <laughs> Sorry. But, uh, never mind. Yeah, just to um, see if the town is normal or not. It could be all vampires, or it could yeah. be a totally normal town. If it's if it's all vampires, it'll be empty right now. Because it's, it's daytime. daytime. We Shall should definitely attack during the day. Yes. We should send one by air and one by land. What? How far are we? Uh, you guys have been traveling through the forest during the night, and it is a very dense forest, but it is uh, mostly you know, cold weather, trees, pines, um, uh, and there is, you can see, once you get inside the forest, the ground itself is very thick, and there are elements of, uh, there, are, there are elements of melting snow on the top of the trees. There, had to, there was recently a snowfall in this area, but it seems like it's been a while, and most of it's now turned to slush and water. Um, you have about, I'd say about two hours of travel into the forest, and you all immediately catch up and hear the sound of distant howling. Is it nighttime? Mm -mm. Oh, that's scary. Distant <laughs> howling, does it sound like wolves? Can I do a nature check to see if Yeah, I... make a nature check. Stealth? Um, not Stealthy? metal no, You can just make a stealth check. Uh, okay, 16, 26. 26. Um, those are wolves. Um, it sounds like just a pack of wolves, probably close to anywhere from five or six. Would I think it would be weird that they are out howling during the daytime? Uh, you gather that it is strange that they are out this, although it is getting later in the day, it's getting, uh, you're probably pushing, at this point, four or five in the afternoon, the sun's starting to get closer to the horizon. Mm -hmm. Um, it is strange that they're out this early. Uh, you're not sure what the reasoning would be for that. Odd. I say we hide in the trees. Up high. Like up, up in high. the trees? I like it. 
We're gonna climb some trees. Okay. You're gonna hobbit this shit? Wait, we're just hiding in the trees, we're not going in to investigate? Well, it's about to be nice. night time, so thought, we'll, yeah, we'll do a little bit of, we'll, well send How long would scouts. it take to get into the town from where we're? Uh, about two more hours of travel. Mm. We'd get there at night. We'll get there. Yeah, cool. we should probably. It's all right though. It's early How long evening. did it take we'd me to fly okay. to a flyover if I was a bird? About an hour. Vax. Yes. Can I ride you into town? You want me to jog <laughs> town? Why don't you, you can ride, ride me into town. Oh, hello, lady. <laughs> every time, Scanlan. Every time. I know that just got weird. <laughs> can you turn yourself into like? Oh yeah, I guess I could fly. In, you want to go yeah. invisible and then jump on my back and I can eagle up? Whatever yeah. you're into, baby. <laughs> Let's do I've it. become awesome. Ridiculous! Powers. Ridiculous! <laughs> <laughs> If, that, if the coach driver was any indication, there are going to be people. The normal people. In town. Uh, what about this? Happiness. I'll make us both invisible. You fly us in. I like it. Yeah, because okay. get on the ground and not just above. All okay. right. Now, invisibility, how long has it lasted? Full uh, full duration. Looking. Up to an hour. Ooh, okay. and it takes us two hours just to get there? Well, it flying, it takes you an hour. You an hour round trip. So it's one of those things you could do as you approach it. You know, and do that. last you a while. Okay. They're supposed to doing it now. How long can you be polymorphed for? Forever? Concentration? For like half of my druid level we discovered or hours, something yeah. like so that? Somewhere around like six, hours, level, six, six hours, hours. hours. So you fly us in and I'll invisibility us right, right, right as we get to the gates. And as they're, <laughs> as they're going out, Make we sure are in the trees. bring an earpiece as well. He's, he's got an earpiece. Do we all go up, the four of us go up into trees? Everyone get your own tree. Everyone get your own tree. All right, everyone, <laughs> everyone who's in a tree, please roll Except a stealth check. Except for Trinket, check. who can't climb a tree. Trinket can climb trees! Roll a stealth check. There's a tree. Check. Uh, there's there's a tree. Check I'm gonna cast Trinket. Pass Without a Trace. I'm passing without, ca casting Pass Without a Trace. How long does it last? You have to, you have to roll for Trinket. Okay, you fine. Oh, I guess I'll cast it tonight, Trinket never mind. Okay. <laughs> Sam is so, so it's plus 10 to stealth. Why are you being a dick, Scarlet? He's not casting just yet. I'm not casting just yet. 14. What are we rolling? Stealth. I already did. Um, Those are good rolls. Yeah. yeah. Uh, 21 for me. And. 21. And. What do I add? Just nothing. 19 for Trinket. Okay. That's great. Well, 19. Well, let's, let's say you guys all manage to slowly get yourself up into the tree the best you can. Yeah. Um, as you guys take off. While you guys are away, making your way towards Whitestone, uh, the rest of you look down and, and uh, uh, just from a passive perception standpoint, you pick up the most detail. You can see there is indeed a pack of about five wolves and or dogs a little ways away, but they're being followed by one humanoid. Um, they're being guided. There, there's, there's a pack out here for some, whether it be a hunting party or uh, what other, other reasons there may be, they are, it isn't wild. Okay. And they're close to us now? I had been doing the pad, the dust of traces, no, so. Yeah. And okay, so I'll cast it on us now that they're closer. I wonder if that's the okay. ground search party. Maybe. Let's see. Um, so uh, should we add 10 to all of our stealth rolls that had been, or do we have to roll again? You have to roll again. Shit balls. So we're stealthing again in the tree? Because she's casting passive, or you won't get the benefit. Uh, I'm yeah. already at a 32, man. Well, now you gotta roll again. You don't have to. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's roll again. Let's roll again. What do you add? We add 10 to whatever we get? 10 to whatever we roll. Just it, go ahead and just add 10 to the previous one. Yay! Okay. Fine. Good. Uh, <laughs> so. What do you keep on good rolls? So, um, about five breathless moments pass as the um, the dogs, wolves, all get relatively close. One of them kind of comes out and returns back to the pack. Uh, you don't get a good view of the individual that is currently uh, guiding the pack, and you see them kind of disappear between the thick trees in the distance. Uh, make an active perception check for you, Max, if you don't mind. Not advantage. Uh, is, is forest? No, you're in forest now. Oh, wait. That's another... Um, Did you do that yeah. one of your train? Then go ahead and roll another game. You get that was your first one. Yeah. That was worse than the first one. That's great. So your total is? Uh, 20. Okay, well, you didn't say you were doing it. 18. 18. Okay, uh, it's hard to make up the details of this distance. You check out, it does appear to be a female form. Oh, it's a chick. Um, best you can tell, you can't tell 
specific race or any details, and then about another minute passes before the barking and howls fade, and the the hunting party seems to have uh, been eluded. Did, I, there was no way to get a good a good view of who it was. No, do you, want, do you mind making an active perception check? I, I actually I would love to. If okay. possible. You say kill them and eat the dogs. Uh, a lot. Let's just, no, normally, if they passed by now, natural twenty. What? A natural really? Twenty. I'm looking at it. I'm looking at it. Wow. I'm All looking right. at it. This is this isn't. I love you for those awful rolls earlier. Really. Yeah. The golden snitch wins again. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's name now. You um. You see the female form, it's not someone you particularly recognize, um, but the woman does appear to be older, probably in her uh, late 40s, early 50s. Um, she has some hunting gear over her shoulder, and like a, she has a, a short bow that's kind of strapped over her, a quiver of arrows. Um, she looks like she's hunting for food. Older Tiberius would kill her. <laughs> <laughs> Give her ten years. Give her ten years. I don't recognize him. <clears throat> no. I went immediately of uh, visual recognition. In the meantime, you guys make your way swooping down. Um, you can uh, you can see that cluster, that murder of crows, begin circling out and is making a large. Pass over this entire valley. Uh, you take this cue as you get to the uh, almost a, a visual range of the city to cast invisibility on both of you as a third level spell. Yes. Okay. Both of you just vanish from view, uh, which is a strange feeling for you because now you cannot see Keyleth. You're just grasping on the something oh, you can't shit. see, and you just look like you're gliding through the air. Can I? Can I do one of these? Yeah. You grab on very tightly, not, without choking. It's the eagle does not have uh, human physiology. You get a two fists full of feathers. And you really don't want an eagle to buck you angrily at the sight. <laughs> I don't think you have feather fall, so that would go poorly. Um, looking over uh, Whitestone, you can see outside of the city there are some areas where the trees are carved out, and there is farmland set up specifically to grow food and, and to till it to, uh, to maintain uh, you know, sustenance for the people that live there. You can see there is a small area that's also being cut for timber. Uh, not a perpetual thing, but the, the wood here is, you've heard previously, one of the major exports here is very high quality timber of, of this, this type of tree that is used um, for uh, very, very exquisite uh, woodcraft uh, and, and furniture. So that's one of the major, major exports of Whitestone as well as the quartz from the mines itself. Um, yes, we do. There are people in the city, but it's sparse. Uh, make a perception check. Can I also make a perception check? You may as well, yeah. With my eagle vision? You may. Mm-mm. 14, so that's 24, and I have <coughs> keen sight, which means I have advantage on all purpose. And yes, you do. I'll, I'll take You'll that take 14. You'll take that 14. As opposed to that one. Total of 14? 24. 24, okay. Uh, as 14. you get down close enough to start scanning over details, you can see um, there. A lot of the buildings appear to be closed or empty. There are people working the fields. Um, as you make your way to the center of the town, there is a town square, uh, and there is the tree there, a very large old tree that is kind of twisted with all these various uh, gnarled branches that reach out. Uh, you recall Desmond mentioning something called the Sun Tree. Um, that is the centerpiece of this area, and you get a view enough of the tree to see that there are Eight humanoid bodies of varying ages swinging from it. Oh no! Um, you uh, also notice that trolling through the city at very slow paces, there are a few larger than normal humanoids. You see what appear to be approximately six giants that are just patrolling through the town. But you can see some of them are like kind of wrecked and broken. One of them is missing an arm and it's kind of dragging a foot behind it. And you can They're see zombie giants. Uh, and uh, apparently, whenever one's moving through, most of the denizens of the town keep a very wide berth and generally avoid them entirely and go about their business in a distance. Um, I miss Pike. 
six something. No problem. Like overall, over the entire city, they're, they're, they're pretty well scattered about. Um, after you do a full pass over the city, those are most of the details you can make out at this height. Anything further? Any any specifics you want to go for before heading back? Want to set me down so yeah. I can talk to some people? You want to talk to people? Well, or at least eavesdrop. I mean, I there you we don't go. know if they're all vampires or not. Does it look like there is a uh, central part where there's a lot of people kind of gathered? Um, the farmlands would be the, the largest cluster of people. Uh, there, you can see there. There, since it's getting the end of the day, there are a lot of folks that are finishing up, uh, gathering the crops that are available to them, or, or planting as they go through. And there's probably about five or six people that are all in one group. Most everyone else seems to be relatively solitary and trying to go about their business as fast as possible. The town square is emptying out. Uh, the town square. Nobody's in the town square. The town square is. People are avoiding like the plague. There are just eight bodies hanging from the tree, and nobody wants to be there. Um, all right, I'm gonna kind of swoop down and find a tree where the like five or six farmers are and kind of just perch, see if Scanlan can get a good... There actually are no trees right by the farm. All the trees have been cleared out to make the farmland. So there's actually a bit of the uh, forest that has been cleared for that purpose. It's just open and empty? Yeah, I mean, you can go to a tree that's n- nearby, but that, that's like Rooftop, 300 wall, feet away. Anything I can perch. There is the wall. There is a wall on the outskirts of, uh, of Whitestone. That that okay, so you swoop down and you perch on the edge of the wall there. It's about 25 feet up. Uh, I'm just going to go walk down there. I won't be able to see you, oh, God. so I'm just gonna leave a little. I'll I'll keep it. Oh wait, no, I can't see you. Yeah, you can't I talk don't. right now. Or an eagle. <laughs> I'll just leave, leave a little, like a canteen or something, right where she's perched, <laughs> just so I know where to find her. Okay. <laughs> Smart. Smart. Okay. Yeah. Leave All your right. mug. <laughs> yeah. Nice. <laughs> <time>. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna walk down and see if I can stealthily eavesdrop on some conversations. Okay. You make your way uh, down the 25 foot wall shit, she's gonna, perched on. Oh shit, am I gonna fall? Uh, well, go ahead and make an athletics Should check I to climb. Say that out loud. Uh, athletics? Yes. 17. 17. Uh, the stonework here is old and you manage to not lose your footing entirely. You bring your way down. Thankfully, you're light enough, yeah, and the right. stones are not too large, so where you can get some good handholds. You do, over the next 12 minutes or so, make your way to the base of the wall. It took me 12 minutes to climb 25 feet? Yep. Wow. Nice. Uh, I maybe like very whistle for me you come back. A lot of moments of like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, <laughs> but you catch yourself. Um, uh, I mean, you could just jump if you wanted to make it last, but your your duration of your invisibility is about yeah, about twenty more minutes before it oh, shit. It, it dissipates. Uh, you go over to the edge and you see they have carts up and they have uh, what vegetables they have there. And a lot of the vegetables, even at a close look, a lot of them look kind of withered. It looks like there's a general sense of frustration that the land itself is not producing quality crops. Um, and even the people look kind of hel- unhealthy and gaunt by nature. Uh, whether it be the cold winter recently, or just their general spirit is broken, but there is a feeling about these people that life here is not what it used to be. Um, there isn't a whole lot of conversation. There's mutterings here and there, and like, we have to make sure we get these back in time. Fill the cart. We have two carts we have to get in this one's like, I know, I know, I'm trying, and they're putting over there, and there's a little bit of frustration amongst them, and the ones counting is, <laughs> um, you you do get get one of them ends up uh, they, they get the last bit of the crops like that that's it we're, that's all we have that 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 is the entire pool for the day and uh, the older gentleman is over singing kind of grinds his hands and goes oh, so Carrion's gonna have my hide they don't hear this well, one of the people that yeah wasn't it at the very least let's gather it together hopefully. That will protect us. And uh, the people kind of take the carts and begin making their way towards the outer gate on the southeast side of Whitestone, where you guys are currently at. Okay. I'm going to hustle back to uh, to the to the roof. All right. Make an athletics check. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, I can come get you. Just... You'll hear a thump. Oh, oh, oh. Eight. <laughs> <laughs> Eight. Oh, hopefully he lands on his loot. No, oh, it's not nine. Okay, <laughs> 15 minutes. Uh, the five minutes of eavesdropping, you, you 
realize that you're not going to make it up that wall, and you feel the magic of your <gasps> invisibility illusion about to fade. At this point, by the way, the sun has just hit the edge of the mountains. The sky itself is a vibrant reddish orange, slowly turning to purple, and sunset is upon you. I feel like we have to I'll just spend the night here. No. I will. Uh, Can I see I, him? I sneak around the corner. He's invisible, no. I sneak around the corner a little bit, wait for an opening, and I lose invisibility, which will drop it on her as well. Right. And I will dimension door back up to the roof. Okay. As you pass out of the side, uh, the illusion fades. <laughs> you step into a small uh, opening of dark purplish energy and then re emerge on the top of the wall. Grab, grab your my canteen, canteen and hop back onto the back of her. Huh? Oh shit! Invisibility again. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, you guys vanish, That's and right. Keyleth, okay. you take off back in the direction you guys travel mm. from. In the meantime, guys, what do you, what have you want to have been doing? Are you just waiting? Are you traveling further in? Are you staying where you were? We have oh. we have to wait. Blazing. Yeah, keeping yeah. an ear out for the wolves and just chilling in a tree. Oh, I fall out of the tree. And also, I'm restringing my new awesome bow. With the uh, with the blazing bowstring. Okay. <gasps> I'm putting on. Which, my, by the uh, way, <coughs> is a longbow of Sky Sentinel. Sky oh. Sentinel. What is yeah, that? it's okay. What? It's um, once per long rest, I can use a storm arrow, which means that the next arrow I fire splits into three arrows. Roll an attack for each of them. They all get 1d6 extra for each one that hits. Whoa, power up. It's amazing. It's Every like time the you use it, or is it a one time? It's one time for long rest. That's awesome! So once this per day, she cool. fires an arrow, and the arrow splits into three, and each one bursts into a, uh, like thunder damage, like it's bursts right. on them. Say oh. what? Yeah. So is it lightning damage, or is it? Thunder damage, it should say on there. Does it, say? it says lightning damage. Oh, it would be lightning damage. It's a taser yeah. arrow! It's basically a taser. It's thunder or lightning. <sighs> so yeah, it's, it's pretty fun. Um, all right. Thunder. 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 <clears throat> What's that from? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> so, the night Falls and uh, the crickets begin to emerge. The slow mist they begins were, to fill. Our friends aren't back yet. It's already night and they're not back. I just want to say that I pulled my hood down for a moment and put on my calamari hat. <laughs> and I pulled the hood back over. It. Okay, so you, you you take the uh, the kind of uh, partially rusted over but functional metallic skull cap that Clarota was wearing when you guys had met in the Underdark uh, that Clarota no longer needs. Yes. Um, you place it upon your head, and it's it's a loose. As you place it on, it kind of rattles for a moment, and then it <gasps> form fits to your skull. Really? Um, your hair being pinched beneath it and kind of just emerging from underneath, uh, almost Loki helmet style. Looking snazzy, um, back. Nice bonnet. <laughs> uh, you put the hood back up, and I'm it, on your head. There's a weird, a weird, like buzzing, vibrational feel as its magic attunes to you over the next hour or so as you're waiting. But you get the sensation that it will offer some decent protection from. Uh, impeding charm effects. Tingles. It looks like you have a mullet. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Loki mullet. Yeah. Um, Look at the all right. Point. You get start getting really nervous about the arrival of your friends, so eventually you hear the flapping of wings, uh, and you look up and you can see, since it is taking an hour to get there, the illusion just fades. Uh, both uh, a giant eagle and Scanlan appear uh, in the moonlight, <coughs> right above the canopy of the forest, you guys are close to, and return to the place you were. Caleb, oh, oh. oh. question: oh, Can you make it look like you know that we're not here with your uh, your foliage shit? I drew up my B shape. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, duh, you holding know, onto your a branch. Uh, illusions. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Good, well, I should be good. able to do that. Can we camp up in the tree? Yeah. Is everybody comfortable with this? I'm Ooh, perfectly what if we fall out. out? Here, I druidcraft some spiderweb hammocks. Ooh. Oh, wow. Mm. Wow, really wow. sticky. This is fantastic. That's a so wild. Like some, it. And as usual, light some sage. <laughs> <laughs> takes about an hour or so, but she managed to pull from the surrounding these really nice, thick uh, spider silk hammocks that should be able to support your respective weights. Grog is the only one that might be questionable with the sheer amount of weight that is this form. I like it. Maybe take a rope and tie it 
Yeah. No, this is a trust exercise. Hmm. And um, I'm using I'm using hide in plain sight to make me and Trinket extra extra hide. Good. I have a question. Yes. The only reason I have this question is because I posted that video from a couple of years ago. Do I still have the unending rope? I have the unending rope, motherfucker. We, why don't we make, make reinforce Kraga. with the rope? Oh, we don't not? like the trust exercise. That's where all the rope comes from that we ever would, use. I'm sorry I brought it up. I'd love for you to fall on your head. <laughs> Let's We're reinforce good. the spider. <laughs> no, I'm good. Thank you. Uh, all right. <laughs> um, Whoa, Vax. Before we nice helmet. Before we slumber. <laughs> <laughs> Don Quixote called. Aerodynamic, isn't it? <laughs> Once his bowl back. Yeah. Before we slumber, we, I, I, we did a little intel, a little recon. Oh yeah, Next. what's up? Turns out the town is full of humans, yeah. you know, or, or, uh, okay. uh, That's except, it. except for That's these six hard. vampire giants, um, or zombie giants. So, zombie they all giants. appear to be fairly miserable people. Okay. However, this could be useful. Everyone in the town, all the farmers anyway, seem to be gathering produce to deliver to the Briarwoods. We could pose as some sort of farmer troop with a basket of goodies and maybe get through the front gate. Don't you think they would know all the farmers around them at this point? They've we been could. there for a long time. They did reference Sir Carrion by name. Oh, they referenced Sir Carrion, Percy. Thank so you. I bet we could make ourselves look so. like some of them. One of us has a, a hat of disguise. Oh, 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 also, there was something other really important. Oh, um, the town was pretty much empty. Oh yes, this. Okay. And that sun tree that, what's yes. his name? What's the, who said that? A, who was, Jared? Who was talking Desmond. about the sun tree? Desmond. 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 There were, um, there were, looks like there were some executions that took place. Um, there were about eight bodies hanging from that tree. Why is it called the sun tree? It's really lovely. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it gets sun. I don't know. Why do they call it the sun? You're, you're the. Uh, you're the can answer. I can I go with this? Uh, you Unless you have a particular reason to. I mean, you can go. There are maybe many many reasons. It's <gasps> the sun tree. There's reasons. There reasons. There maybe legends, we need to battle them at the sun tree. Legends say that before the castle was built, that the journey into the valley was treacherous and stormy, and the, the original builders of White Castle feared they'd die. And this one great tree stood in the valley, and it was underneath it that they took shelter. And as they began to take shelter, the storm broke. And the storm did not return until the castle was completed. That's a lovely story. It's, uh, it's, we hold our festivals there every year. It's a, and now it's being used a, as a, as a gallow, yes. Well, does it get a lot of sun? Well, you do know that this, and, and this ties in with your story as well. Um, because the guidance uh, of, of uh, into forging the city of, of Whitestone here, uh, that tree was representative to them as a guardian of Pelor, guardian. the god of the sun, <gasps> um, and uh, pr that? protector of light, holiness. Is considered one, one of the more you know a very serious god. Yeah, that could help. All that the could vibe. help us because vampires hate the sun. Why would they make camp in the place for the? God of the sun. Oh, maybe that's why they're hanging bodies from it, to like taint it. Maybe that's why it's protected. Maybe, can any of us, are any Did of it? us religious with that God or? Can no, we call Pike on through your, your magic poo? School? Will she be able to hear us? I Tablet can, of Apple. I can at least see what she's up to. Would you be able to revive the tree? <gasps> like, 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 bring it back. Uh, Druid, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, what would I, that I do? can actually, yeah. I don't know. Bring up the god of the sun again. I don't know. Either I not might religious be able to people. We can't summon the gods willy nilly. We could please. Don't tell us Hello. what we can and can't do, Scanlan. I'm sorry. We can do all of those things. Yes, let's go into the middle of the vampire infested town and do some arbory to try to to heal the tree. And then we'll just say, oh, sun god, please rain down sun. Here. I like it. Let's do it. That's a great it's a good plan. plan. Or can we at least try cutting down the bodies and running and see what happens? <laughs> we could. I say in the morning, we take a look at the, at the passage, see how well guarded it is, and if it looks dangerous, sneak our way into the town. If people are not enthralled, if they are 
being forced to work, then maybe we can find some allies. Find allies in the town? I don't think they're happy. I think they're terrified. Yeah. And I don't want to let them know we're here for fear they'll yeah. turn us in in hopes of saving their own. That's neck. what I'm thinking. Yeah, carriage, yes, they are terrified, children. but they're they're this whole town is being ruled by fear. I have a feeling we can revive that tree somehow. It may weaken the Briarwood's hold on the psyche of the villagers this here. This is true. Would agree. It could help out. Let them know that the god of the sun is on their side. I heard you're supposed to pee on a lemon tree, so... This probably oh, would be... Right you and Scanlon are on that, I have a feeling. Can I make a nature check to see if that's true? I was... I really <laughs> wanted to ask. I was like, what... What does peeing on a lemon tree have to do with anything? Sure. Ooh. 19. <laughs> 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 in your experience, as in your roving band of barbarians, Jesus. you guys enjoyed very much peeing on very colorful trees <laughs> of all sorts of plant life. Um, all of them generally didn't seem to, over time, react well uh, <laughs> to the process, whether it be the fact that you all drank a lot of times the content of your urine was probably mm. not very a lemon, lemon party. Lemon party. <laughs> <laughs> That's a whole different kind of festival. <laughs> Kill Percy. Kill Percy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for <coughs> bringing so, the, the text <laughs> chat all the way back around. <laughs> Operation oh, no, no, Tree the, Rescue. The lemon, lemon Party is held on the the, yes. the far, far southern continent of Tabgurl. Um, <laughs> oh, <no>. <laughs> region <laughs> of Gotse. Um, this is a giant <laughs> impact happening right now. Well, I have an idea. Should wow. we wait until the sun comes up, create a distraction so all the undead giants come looking? Sure. And then we have someone go cut the bodies off the tree and, and let bring Keyleth, it back to life. Let Keyleth give it a little love. And then what happens after yeah. that? Yeah, so I don't know. It's an experiment. Then we do right. the fuck out. Won't they know we're here? Won't the people see us I doing it? I, I know. I, know I kind of feel like that's totally the equivalent empty. of putting no, dish soap in a fountain. Didn't you say that, that all around this country, like nobody's there? <laughs> yeah, we did that. <laughs> what? Didn't you say nobody's around this country? <laughs> that's true. No, no. But we still have to get in. Fly up and over. Did you just do the same thing? I know, Fly I know. up and over it's... land, bring the tree back to life. Are you sure you don't want Skid me out. to be a carriage driver and you'll hide in the hay of my carriage? I feel and like I they know. Go straight up to the Briarwoods. All the townspeople. I will put on my hat of disguise. I'll be someone completely different. They can see through that. I'm telling you, they look right through me. When he was right invisible. Invisible. They saw me. They probably yeah. saw you. So no, he I wasn't invisible. No, parents. They no, saw no, through no. me. I was, but I was. You're overly stealth. No, you were invisible. Oh, wow. No, invisible. no but I, the, the invisibility faded when he attacked when the guard. I beamed the uh, guard. Mm. Yeah. I I you should not yes, have been able to see me. I'm not talking able. about. I'm not talking about getting past the Briarwoods. I'm talking about getting past the guards that guard their castle. We'll just kill them. Here's another issue. Um, it's gonna take me a minute to do the. So like how long? It might take a bit. Like how like long? How, a bit. Like how long? Well, I mean, it, it's one of those things where the longer I do it, the better it'll be. Okay. I can do it for up to eight hours. Oh shit! If I do it for up to eight hours, I enrich the land um, over a half mile radius, centered on a single point, and the land becomes enriched for a solid year. I don't want to enrich Question. all of the. Question, what time was it when they were doing the little scouting thing that they just told us about? Five, uh, six? The sun the, was going down? Yeah, they would have gotten, probably gotten to Whitestone around seven o'clock and leaving okay. right as the sun had fully we set. Get right when the sun goes down. Hour well, yeah, we get there at sunrise. Take those shit. fucking beasts out and you start at 8 a.m. But we then don't what? Take anything out. Okay. We just sneak in, you do it. But here's the thing, I don't know if you want to like get all the crops all fancy because it'll just feed the Briarwoods. Maybe Briar. just do the tree area, which would be like two hours, maybe. Yeah. If I, I think if I have a solid hour, two hours with it. Once the, once the tree is healed, we have no one of religious power to summon any god. We don't know anything about this god. None of us do. I do, in, th in theory, if I'm from. You know better, go ahead and roll a religion check. A witch? A religion check. A witch? <laughs> A witch. Sixteen. What witch? Sixteen. Okay. Uh, Pelor is the god of the sun and agriculture, 
as a good deity and is generally worshipped by you know farmers and simple folk and people that that um, live off the land and generally it's it's the most nature based deity of the main spectrum outside of Melora, which is the deity of nature. Oh, um, well, dope. Uh, Would I know stuff like that too? Then uh, you know of Pelor. Uh, there are elements of of Pelor's. Uh, Following that bleeds into your druidic nature, though you don't necessarily follow a deity. Right. Um, you you, you, you believe that the essence of nature in itself is your patron. Totally. Um, uh, you aren't a religious man by nature, and you know there was a strong following of Pelor in the town. The entire uh, graveyard that you talked about earlier, that one is largely built around the, the imagery of Pelor. Um, and of all the gods that are worshipped here, Pelor is probably 75% of the population of Whitestone were. Uh, in some ways, you perform, if not full devout worshippers, at least, were like, yeah, Pelor is cool. Here's my question. Yep. I'm just, I feel Pike's energy <laughs> tonight. Maybe while I'm meditating, I can somehow reach out to her and maybe just ask her to get in touch with Saren Ray, and maybe Saren Ray can, can call up her homeboy Pelor. I think that works. You I don't know. Work? I don't know. I don't. This is like phone We're a friend. We're not organized religion phone? people, we Ashari. I think the tree is called the Sun Tree. It's Pelor's tree. I, I'm not uh, a cleric of Saren Ray, but these shitbags could not have set up camp in a temple of Saren Ray because there is too much goodness there, as there was around this tree in this town, and it's why it is dead. It's why it is being surrounded by a bunch of giant undead things, as you describe. I. You need faith, Scanlan. Me, you need I faith. am the antith antithesis of faith. <laughs> you got to then have you need faith to shut up, up and let us fix up. that tree. And then what? We oh no! We're gonna fight off a million no, monsters Scanlan. to heal a tree, and then we're gonna say, okay, bring out the sun or something. Hang, hang, on. Sun already what? hang on, hang on, hang on. What, what did you just say? Which what? That thing you just said that no one heard. Because we were all shouting and arguing? Rally the townsfolk? Rally the townsfolk. This is something I think... I don't think that sneaking in is, is necessarily the answer. I'm not saying go, go in guns blazing, but I say we will let them know... You want to you wanna build a militia? I want to build a rebellion. I like it. Well, they would recognize you, wouldn't they, Percy? If you've I been have around a plan. Them. I'm not... You have a I'm plan. I'm kind of into this, yeah. Um, Person. Does it involve healing the tree? It does. Yeah. I don't think there is any sneaking in thanks to those birds. So we I make a either. stand out here. Tell us your plan. Bring him out to the sun tree to My plan us. is we do our best to sneak in. We find cover. Obviously, you said there's abandoned buildings. We find cover. We heal the tree. I have some other ideas. We take, we take those zombie giants out one by one, quietly. Per we're gonna be insurgents? Shh, let him finish the plan. I kind of love this. Okay. <laughs> it's kind of like Attack on Titan. We this start cool. finding our friends and we start, we start making friends. We, okay. let, we let them know we're back. I like it. I like having the people. It feels less like we're the United States. Okay, why do we? Can I, I have like some parchment left here. I have a thing I wanna build. While I'm in the tree, it's very simple, and I want to show you how, what it is. And it and and what is um? <laughs> I want to take some gunpowder and basically make a pipe bomb. Atta basically, attach it to a piece of uh, parchment. I, I want to I want to wet it into a piece of parchment and let it dry, so yeah. that when I set fire to that piece of, piece of par parchment, I get a I get a burn scar. So I like to create a burn <gasps> scar. Yeah, that's totally doable. Thank you. Awesome. Like, Go ahead and roll a uh, tinkering check just just what? for the sake scarred? of the possible. A burn scar on yourself? Like, no, yeah. it'll, it'll scar anything. Oh. It just creates a very, very high high heat. Like oh, a yeah, mark. Like a brand. Like a mark. Like, like, a mark. like our mark. Like a mark. Like our mark. Not our mark. The, the resistance. The resistance. I need a beret. <laughs> <laughs> um, I rolled a uh, um, 23. You, uh, th well, well, the rest of you end, end up Taking your evening's rest, uh, Grog, of which immediately you, you snap your hammock and poof, fall 15 <laughs> feet to the ground. <laughs> um, but uh, you manage to make your way up there and just kind of bear hug the tree trunk for, for rest. You're used hey. to sleeping in uncomfortable situations. I throw, I throw five or six pine cones at his head. 
<laughs> Over time or at once? Uh, at once. Okay. <laughs> Fucking gravity. <laughs> <laughs> um, you managed to, to complete three pieces of parchment, uh, roughly page size, with your uh, black powder treatment successfully. The mist rolls in, gets thicker and thicker to the point where you cannot see the floor of the forest. Uh, the little bit of moonlight that manages to make its way through the boughs of the trees trickles through and then vanishes into these kind of slowly shifting uh, bits of fog. Your breath, every time you exhale, is visible as the cold night air begins to take and you find yourselves instinctively shivering as you cannot grow close to each other for heat nor build a fire for it. And the night, while uncomfortable, uh, you do manage to get an evening's bit of mostly uncomfortable rest, but rest nonetheless. Um, eventually coming to, as the morning sun comes up and heats it up, the fog begins to fade away and burn away. Um, you're at about an hour past sunrise as you all unrestfully come to consciousness as the temperature shift hits. Um, you manage to relieve yourselves of your uh, spider silk based hammocks and or tree uh, grasping. Both, both, both you and Trinket both have found these kind I of way of clutching onto the trees as you play. Well, I could, Trinket's but I'm into it. I'm into it. I'm so this is like sun up, right? It is, it is about 7, 7.30 in the morning. Can yes. I do a quick uh, quick scry back to uh, the poo jar that I left in our kitchen just to make sure our, Certainly. Home, our home base is okay? You take a moment and just concentrate in the kitchen. Uh, at this point in time, you can see early, early morning um, uh, Lena is currently just going in there yawning and is cleaning about and starting to make a small breakfast uh, for all the guards you can see uh, and hear in the distance some conversation in the distant room appears to be a couple of your uh, various employed mercenaries uh, having a conversation. She's making breakfast. So they're fine. They seem fine. So I knock that one off and I'll, and I'll try for uh, Pike. Okay. Concentrating on Pike, uh, about two minutes of hard concentration. There's no connection. I wiped my poo away. Uh, you gather, due to the relatively fresh and unstable nature of this potion you had concocted, you can only have one source oh, connection up at a no. time. So when you left it in your keep, it seems that the one you had at the Temple of Saren Ray was uh, alleviated of its magical presence. So what was once a magical scry poo is literally just scan scat. Which some below. could argue is magical in its own right. Sure enough, with a high enough persuasion roll. Teacher, teacher. Does it change color when it loses its power? You don't know. Damn it! Uh, I want to know. Only one way to find out. God damn it! <laughs> Ask Pike when you see her again. We can actually your 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 poo power may come in very handy in the next. Like this is good to know. Mm. Mm. Let's go just, find an abandoned building. Could we throw up. in a, a scanlon grenade? And be sure. able to see through it. <laughs> sure. Yeah. A scat grenade. A scat grenade. Sure, I could get one. I could get in. Scatland. Scatland. I, I could get in, shit in my bedroom, and leave. You shit in your hand, and you toss oh, it. Oh yeah, that too. Pull the pin. Yes. This is what happens. Yes. <laughs> this is what happens. You could fly it. overhead with Keelit. Yes. Drop it like oh. a bomb! And then we'd have an eye yeah. in there. Oh, I like it. That's I like this small. a lot. Give me something to eat. <laughs> what? Oh, holy crap. I, I need I some a sweet fuel. potato I need right some here, Scanlon. No arcane crap. Sweet potato. <laughs> sweet potato, oh, that's good. Fuel. Yes, some prunes. Yeah, something hearty. All right, we're off the rails. So, you guys step make one your, of this. You make your way down into the, uh, the forest. About another hour and a half of travel before you start getting to where the trees begin to clear up a little bit and you can see the base of uh, the, the cleared off mountain where Whitestone Castle is built upon and the pathway that descends into the outer wall of this, the city of Whitestone. How far of a travel is it down into the city? Um, it's maybe a quarter mile. No. So like we could do that in in yeah, I mean, a little amount spatial of time. wise you guys are just getting to like this side of the forest right there. Okay. Right okay. there. And this is the uh, So if we're going to try to stealth this shit in. <laughs> Do we take the stealthy one or the invisible one? Well, wait. One? Wait, wait, wait. Wait. 
Wait. Which plan are we doing first? I first part is getting an abandoned building posted. So that we can be near the tree to protect you. So that you we can be townspeople. Can... Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> right? So you can get a beret. Abandoned building, part one. We're, part setting, one. we're setting up shop. Get into the town. So who goes part and one. finds the abandoned building? Percy is known here. Yeah, but Which is why known. I'm going to be wearing, uh, I haven't been seen in years, and when I was seen, I was a, I was much younger, and honestly, Yes, but the Briarwoods. I had different hair. The yes. Briarwoods <laughs> recognized you instantly. Yeah. They did, which was disorienting. But they're not on sentry duty. So we need a forward operating base, so who wants to be stealthy or invisible and question, find an empty building? Question. Uh, for the assassin path of Rogue, at ninth level, I can, if I have seven days, which is way too much time, I can impersonate anyone I want. Correct. In half a day, could I just be a dirty nobody? Yeah, you'd be able to disguise yourself. Uh, we also have the hat. The disguise yeah. kit. Hat of disguise. It's good. So Percy could. Percy require, knows this town. Perhaps Percy should wear the hat. Does it require attunement? Just a few minutes, I think. I, I already have the hat. Yes, you have it from the, oh, that's uh, right. the dinner party. That's right. Um, <coughs> would I also. I, I would you like to. I'm, I've been trying to think of what sorts not, of buildings would be the most defensible and the, the, the least likely to arouse suspicion. Well, um, things with basements. I mean, a lot of the houses have basements. Um, there are fridge. varying degrees of it. There are there are larger homesteads that were reserved for the uh, uh, the actual nobles that ran the day to day life of Whitestone when your family was was in power, um, or as you heard from Desmond, apparently probably the places where the new nobles live. Um, those are the ones that have the gates around them. They're the larger homesteads, kind of scattered throughout the town. It's too obvious. Um, it's far too obvious. There are many, many small abodes and, and you know even some farm-based hovels. The the poor end of town is the farming side, which is the uh, southwest, which is the closest area to where you guys actually made your stop earlier. I would almost say a shopping district if there's a way. If there's an abandoned the shopping farm. district is the center of town around the uh, the town square. Around the sentry. Yeah. Right there. Might be too close. Before we go marching in there, finding an abode to live in is not going to be too difficult. But we'll need food. And Are we'll, we living in there? We have, yes, we're, we're not going to be there. Well, we have dry food rations. We, we have some food rations. We have options. Back. We got food. We got food for we days. We won't be there for days and days. We've got food for we got days. Dry food also, we have to go around town and and. Forgive me if I'm going too far in, with your plan here, but aren't we trying to win allies among the people? I have a plan. But we'll need to communicate with them. How? He has a plan. He has a plan. <sighs> All right. Come on, drop your pants and get with the plan. What time is right. it? Have we gone to sleep? Oh, we are, we're waking up. Yeah, you guys are awake. It's probably, after this discussion, I'd say it's about 8 o'clock in the morning. 8.30. Let's make our way in. This is the time. We right should stealth now. in. Are we doing the tree thing right now? Well, you're tra actually, you travel to the city and you're on the outskirts of it now. You'd be closer to 9.30. Okay. Yeah. We get We're in. Trying we, to get in. We, we find a place. Thing. We find a place to at least set up to set up operations. Well, that's what I was going to say. Do we want to find operations, try and We don't really know what we're going to find this morning. Those, those big guys could still be there. We don't know. We don't. We don't know if there are people in the pockets of uh, the Briarwoods here. Because I'm thinking yeah, maybe like take a day a to get in, get settled, I, I like tend to a hero's feast, and then I start crack of dawn in the morning. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. It's get already 9.30, it's going to be 10, 11 o'clock by the Hold time we up. get there at that point. Let's find a place. All, All right. right. So wait, yep. we're just going to walk into the city? No, we're going to stealth into the okay. city. We're going to pat cast pass without a trace on everybody. Okay. Beard check? That was an eight. Self? Beard check. Oh. <laughs> uh, your beard is pretty much at the fullest it'll ever be. Um, you gather, you probably get a little more thickness to it, but your beard's at maximum groggage. Like the fact that you even have a Goliath in the beard is a, a feat of magic in its own right. Amazing. Life. You would be a freak. I'm like home. a Vidal Sassoon commercial. Whip it. <laughs> That's dope. Isn't that dope? That's dope. Uh, dope. Grog, I've heard that no one in this town wears a beard. Oh, natural 20 on stealth. You can forget it. <laughs> <laughs> I won't go in. <laughs> so stealth, stealth if you guys are traveling as a, as a group, uh, you stealth checks from everybody. Uh, do we, are we, are, are we, uh, do we have a uh, pass without a trace? Yeah. I was gonna say, can we each take a little bit of time to look more like commoners? Oh, I'm wearing yeah. my hat too. Yeah. Look like commoners. I, I rub yeah, dirt all up. over my face. I'm a 
I'm a Goliath. Plus and we have I, a bear. I try to look less handsome. Yeah, we do look like quite the Motley crew. I'm wearing a natural you. 20. You. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Did you roll natural 20 as well? Yeah. That's good. Both of you guys roll natural 20s in stealth? I had a little help from luck, but I got it. There you go. <laughs> that's, that's, that's really good, because I rolled a one. Yeah, All right. Oh, no. Pass without a trace. Oh, so it's 11. 28. Still failing. Are we all Still going together, or are we not sending one person in to go find an empty building? We're, we're all going together. You guys are all going together. Um, I mean, you dirty yourself up a bit. You're still a large Goliath. Yep. You're still a, like a few half yeah, elves. There's no. still a bear. Um, you know, walking. outside of illusion magic, you're still kind of stick out like Should a Should we cast illusion magic? Do we have it to make but, um, it's illusion magic? You mean like I'm stuff walking you might 50 have. feet See in front me, of everybody else? Make grog and trinket look like commoners. I'm 50 feet in front of everyone else. Yeah, do that. Do that. Oh yeah, like, you want seeming us? Make sure. Us look like All right. Farmers? I will cast seeming on us. Oh, this is this is a legit use of seeming too. Okay. Uh, where we will all look like <laughs> this is dirty. as opposed to the cows. Oh, the cows. Come on, um, dirty ragged peasants. Trinket is as well. Yes. Trinket looks like a donkey. He'll just be a really drunk peasant. A don oh, or we, a donkey. Can I just say a, this? A mule. Mule. Can we just leave no. Trinket behind? No. I'm not. I don't want to walk in there with a bear. We're, he'll look like a fucking donkey, or he'll look like another commoner. I think I can only make us all look the same. Then he'll look like a fucking uh, you get commoner. Something of, of similar size, I believe, as far as Simeon's concerned, and I'll. He'll look not like a, a commoner, just a Blythe Dale. Weird commoner. Leave <laughs> the bear. A, a, a milk cow. Oh. Bear on the outside of town when there's hounds around, Pick and there's like fucking vampires and birds flying around. Oh, wait, no. You can give each target a new appearance. Yep. So I can make everyone look a little different. Each creature can seem a foot shorter or taller or appear thin, fat, or in between. Make them look like a milk cow. Can't change their body type, so like Trinket will still be like a four-legged creature, but you can make it look like a different four-legged creature. There you go. Okay. And He's a milk cow. Real hey. tall. Or do you want it to be Real a donkey? Talk. My sister will cut you. <laughs> milk cows are slow. Bring the bear. Donkeys can move more quickly. All right, true. donkey. All right. He's an ass. <laughs> All right, so Trinket <laughs> so takes you, a little time to so so The rest of you are a, a smattering of various humanoids. Uh, you, you. I make myself look like a weird hunchback, sort of. Not all there. Okay, <laughs> so you guys look like pretty rough peasants, dirty faces, uh, you know, hair a little razzled. Looks like you've you've been living the harsh life on the outskirts of the slums of Whitestone for quite some time. Model. With a donkey. Um, <laughs> so you guys, utilizing your stealth checks and seeming, you make your way up to uh, the which side of Whitestone are you coming Thank in from? You for the double twenty. Where are we coming Person? up? Coming in from the west. Okay, so you come into this entrance here. You make your way into the center of town, blending in best you can. Uh, there are a few folks who uh, you know, see you enter and kind of just give a strange look. Um, oh boy. You all are unfamiliar to the denizens of Whitestone. No shit. But you don't look like a threat per se. So you are noticed, and some people do seem to just stop and watch you pass, but no one seems to make any active mention, note, or change in behavior towards it. When checking buildings while we're walking through. I, I have walk, active, I have passive perception. I walk one. over just Always to looking. one one random person on the street and say, Is anyone iron hands on farms? Uh, the My farm burned down. Oh god, <laughs> Jesus. Make a deception roll. You? <laughs> I was, I'll give you advantage on it because the seeming does put you in a visual perspective of looking close to the town. Uh, that is a full 14. Oh, no, 14. No, no, no. Hold on, I'm going to use luck. Is the first number going to be a 40? It, no, it's not 40. Oh. All right, so it's a 14. 14, okay, it's two luck rolls. Yeah, I know. Um, the, uh, the woman you approach, who's probably in her early 30s, uh, pale blonde hair, it looks... Like she's might be actually kind of losing it in places. Uh, kind of gives you the goes. You poor people shouldn't be here. Just need some work. We'll find her, but we're not going anywhere else. Welcome to Whitestone. She turns around and walks back, uh, joining kind of arm with uh, apparently a, a man that she's paired with, and the two of them just kind of walk away, a bit dumbfounded that people walked into Whitestone. Um, as, you, as this happens, you glance over your shoulder and you see, coming from the uh, the northern edge of this side wall. Oh, we should 
avoid that shit. A uh, very dead. tall, uh, noticeably undead giant with its jaw broken off and hanging in the hinge, dried caked blood across its chest, and it's just dragging this large club behind it. Where are we? Like, what are our surroundings? You right guys, right now, you, you're, you're at a T. To the right and left are roads that go along the inside of the wall that surrounds Whitestone. To the front of you is the path that leads further into the city. Let's go into the city. We casually oh, let's, let's, I want right to head th- through, through the city, Laser. possibly in the direction of the Laser cemetery. Porter. Yeah. Cemetery's over here. So yeah, I want to yeah. head in that direction. All right, so you guys make your way through. Um, um, Keeping an eye out for, you know, buildings that look like clustered and abandoned, like we could hide in. What's changed? Um, what you've noticed has changed, one, largely the population um, is far more sparse than what you recall. Um, what was once a bustling city, you're now seeing about half as many people as you would see at this time of day. Uh, going through, everyone seems to be in relatively poor health. Um, the uh, There are a few buildings that look uh, like long-term abandoned. Uh, immediately in this kind of area here, on the outskirts that catches your guys' eye, um, you do notice that the uh, the corner lamps that you have are set up at the different corners of the streets um, ha- appear to be shattered. Uh, the, there, there, there would be like you know uh, glass uh, oil lanterns that at night someone would go around and light them after the sunset. Uh, the, the posts that would hold them now are all either broken. Or the glass itself has been shattered. I need to be really dark. I want it to be really dark. I'm also thinking about that cemetery. We're not going to live in a cemetery. That's super creepy. <laughs> As opposed to all of the other things. Everything we've done. here is super creepy. Is there As other to abandoned in the other buildings dark? around? That there, are, there are plenty of buildings that look dark and. Uh, mostly untouched in this section here as you begin to move closer in towards let's, the Let's get east of the, of the, of the center square and, and set up camp Okay, there. where's the castle? Is it on the top of the... It's the north Oh, is here. that thingy? Okay. Alright. We're trying to shoot for here. Okay. Yeah. You guys move this way as you push towards the center of this here. Um, you, uh... Do you speak giant, Krog? Yeah. <laughs> You move past the, uh, no. listen to here and to the left of you, you can see towards the town square, and there it is, the sun tree, a very, very large, uh, you imagine beautiful tree at one time, at full height, is probably about 40 feet tall. Um, the branches twist out and almost look like they're hanging loosely at the ends. Everything looks droopy and, and desolate. There's not a leaf on it. Can I, can I do some sort of check from a distance to see if I can recognize what kind of tree it is? Uh, make an nature check. 18. Okay, um, it's hard to tell from this distance. Uh, there are a number of types of trees it could be. It's not indigenous to this land. The fact that it grew here means that either it was transplanted or it was some sort of magical, uh, ma- magical uh, creation for its presence. Okay. Uh, and you do see the silhouette of the eight figures slowly swaying from beneath the branches. Do we continue on? Don't pay too much attention to it. Find a place to post up. Yeah, don't get emotional. If you, if you do your your yeah. naturey spell from inside a building, does it still do the same thing, or do you have to be next to the tree while you're doing it? No, it's a large radius, right? Uh, so the way the spell works, I can do it one of two ways. I can do it instantaneously, essentially grow up a whole bunch of, of uh-huh. Plants and brush and shrubbery around me, or I can wait and I can concentrate for a while, and then still a plant with vibrant, okay, life and energy, and heal the farmlands, and it would stretch out for a really far radius. Let's keep moving. Gonna probably want to do more of the second one. Okay. Yeah. Let's move. Inside Did you guys want to keep moving down this path? Did you want to go through the square central. closer to the tree? Do you want to move we'll south? Avoid the tree a little bit and just keep around. going straight. Should keep going this way? Yeah. Do we see? There's like a. A larger building, isn't there? I can't Actually, I, I would say let's let's see if let's get a let's get a good look at the tree. Let's walk by it. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna walk by the tree. Okay. Okay. We'll Just walk don't, by. don't don't look, look like it's no big deal. I know. You guys turn left and you make your way towards the the town square. And as you enter the square, looking around, you can see there are, um, what would have been, carts and 
small booth set up for selling of meats and, and other goods. What was a small, you know, barter and sale based uh, hub of this town. Nowhere near on the scale of Iman's Bazaar, but you know, enough to support this town. Um, feet. Desolate. All looked to be closed down and untouched for quite some time. Um, uh, as you get a closer look to the. Uh, actually, I'm going to have you guys uh, roll perception checks. You're kind of not getting too close to the tree. Five. Nine. Twenty-six. Nineteen. Fourteen. No, that's a little... Twenty-three. <clears throat> As you guys are keeping on the outskirts of the square, um, it's hard to make out the details, and the weathering has, has kind of muddled the figures that are hanging there. Percy and Vax, uh, you guys notice the figure on the far left. Um, the body. The, the, body on the body on the far left has a... Uh, uh, like a red paint smattered across its face and its arms. Um, it's wearing a, uh, a dirtied green vest-like robe that dangles below it as it hangs there loosely. Immediately to the left of it, you see what looks to be the body of a child. The child is uh, dressed up in a purple-ish billowing uh, shirt, a very fine silk shirt and pantaloons, and is dangling there next to it. To the left of that, you see it appears to be a female, um, adorned in greens and browns. Uh, looks like red paint has been driven through the hair, and dangles to the left of that figure. Next to that, you see what appears I'm to be- I am walking the fuck away. You see what appears to be a uh, another woman, dressed in dark blacks and browns, leathers, some furs across the top, dark hair, dangling. To the left of that, you see another man, dressed similarly, dark grays and blacks, long dark hair, dangling. To the left of that, you see a rather large man, older, rotund, probably in his 40s, clothing padded, but mostly open chest, hair completely shaved bald, looks like there are dark scars or placed across the face, hanging. To the left of that, you see uh, this figure is actually not humanoid. It appears to have been uh, oh my God. a recently hunted bear that is dangling. No, 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 no. Wait, what? Is that us? It looks like us. What? It's us. They killed people they thought were us. Or or they killed... Or it's a message. Or it's a message to us. Do they look like us, or are they just dressed like us? Uh, are they made to look like do us? Do you want to get closer and look? Yeah. I'm okay. a little curious. Do you want to get closer? Is there, is there is there any is there sure? anything around yeah. the tree other than yeah, that? Probably anything at the base the of the tree? Is there anything? Um, the from what you can see yeah. now, they nothing are. but just rocks and stones and uh, piles of loose we cloth that's been rotting below it. Approaching, it looks like each one of these bodies has been dressed up. Um, it looks like the the color in the redheads. Hair has been smeared through with paint. The person who's been painted red has been slapdash. Um, you gather with a moment of looking at it, these were not individuals that were caught this way. This was set Jeez. up as a message. My god. Oh. Keep walking, keep your head down, yeah. and keep walking. Oh my god. I don't think they're here. Oh my god. I don't think they're here. You mean in town? Of course they are. No. Remember, they have to like be where the soil they came from is. No, they have like hideouts. They don't have to be where the soil they came from. I don't think they're here. They're in they knew we were coming. Shit. They're in that keep, buried deep. Okay. You guys continue past down this pathway. Uh, there's other buildings you see in the vicinity that you know look abandoned or, for the most part, unoccupied. Um, I'd say about one in every three buildings looks like it's in disuse. Did we see this big building right here as we walked by? Yeah, uh, that it, big one. You guys came, made this path, you could see a little bit. You can see as a I should know what it is anyway. Iron fence, it used to belong to one of the noble families of Whitestone. Each one of these large buildings here, these three, and you remember this were the, the three families that ran the town. Can't go anywhere near those half, those, those buildings. We Question. have to stay as far away from them as humanly possible. Question. You said there were eight bodies? Eight bodies. Is there one that looks like 
a gnome cleric and one that looks like a dragonborn sorcerer. One that was, one's painted all red. red. I didn't. There wasn't a gnome cleric one though. No. Dragonborn one's sorcerer. All red. There was a bear. Yes. There was, there was no a bear. There was a bear. Yes. We faced them. Did yes. know about the cleric? All of us were there. All Question. of us who stood against them in Imam. We're all. The body there. of my all guy. Is he sort of handsome? But but. It, that does mean that it was because of oh, a big child and a mom. Oh god. Because it Tiberius <laughs> wasn't here with the crows. Also No, it was because of a mom. So yeah. It was because, because of a mom. At the dinner. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So can we can we get like a vague idea of how long these people look like they might have been here? Uh, make an investigation check. Fuck, I'm not good at this shit. I'll I'll can I help? Sure. Give you it'll be advantage on that check for you. Oh, that, you know, that wasn't bad. Ooh. Wow, never mind. I'll take that 19, uh, 21. 21? Yeah. Uh, you gather these bodies have probably been here for the better part of a week, week and a half. Um, there is, uh, you know, mild decomposition starting to settle in. There is a bit of bloating to some of them. Um, couldn't have been much longer than that. A week? That's before we set out. Why would they put a warning for us here in the city? They assumed we would come, but. They don't know they, that we're here. They invited us. Those birds might have told them that we're here. This was a week ago. This is before we were even close. Let's yeah, stick with the plan. Them. Sticking with the plan. Let's go find a building. We're going to go find something that's a decent distance away from the three noble households that has a reasonable view of the tree. Yeah, 150 feet from the tree. That would probably be somewhere in this vicinity here as the three main houses are right there. Something with a second floor view, but with some distance. Okay. Preferably three bedroom, three bath. Um, <laughs> I'd say uh, make an investigation check. This is just keeping around the vicinity there. Oh, God. Yeah, six. Can I keep? Can I look too? I've been on the lookout for a building the whole time. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll say it. It takes the better part of the next hour or so, and you do a little bit of meandering to find it. You guys are being stealthy the best you can through alleys and such, but Does there even so, you're out in the open midday. But you are also, you know. Does there look like there's like a, a covering um, kind of nearby, roughly and 30 feet or so from the tree? 30 uh, feet? 30 no. feet? That went to 150. No, the, the tree is out in the center, and essentially okay, the, 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 the nearest building is probably anywhere from 100, 200 feet away from it. Like, it's just, it's the oh, tree okay. out in the middle of the square, and the square, which used to have probably more things towards the center, more temporary. Uh, establishments have all been put to the sides and put in disuse. Yeah. Under, underground stuff. You do manage to see what appears to be a uh, what was once a tavern or an inn of some kind that is silent, closed. The door is locked and chained. Uh, the windows look in dusty. In the window, so it keeps chained. Okay. You go on the, the, the side of it through the alley. Um, dust of traces. You go ahead and. Yeah. And dust of tracelessness. You guys like going in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, this is where we're going to get held up. I kind of want to talk to the tree. We'll then go talk to the tree. The Wait, not now. No, 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 oh, not, not yet. Not now. <laughs> Let's find a place right. first. Let's post up first. Uh, what am I, <laughs> stealthing right trees. now? Or check okay. what? Uh, yeah, continuing guys, stealth is going. So this would be your attempting to unlock the window. Oh, unlock, okay. So that's a 22. 22, okay. It takes a little bit to kind of jostle it and it wakes the locks on the inside, but there are ways that you can kind of shimmy the glass and get something underneath to, to push it aside. I managed to get the window open, and as you pull it up, the dust kind of billows up around you, kind of set it aside. You step in, and the place smells stale, musty, um, uh, dark. There are, you can see candle sticks set around that have not been lit for a while, and the uh, the oil lanterns that normally light the interior of the main tavern uh, social area have been long and long in disuse. Is there a cellar here? Uh, if you guys want to look around, uh, are you all going in, or is it? Yeah, we're all going. No, we're all going. going. We're talking yes. to a tree. Come, come inside. Don't want to come talk to a tree with nope. me. Not yet. Don't ring that. Yeah, don't mess yet. with that thing. Come with us. All right, Keep all right, come all right. With Once all right, we do right, it, it's like right, ringing I'm, a I'm, dinner I'm, bell. I'm, I'm, coming, I'm coming. I'm Those coming. I'm going to look for a brothel. <laughs> you all make your way. It's going to be the saddest <laughs> brothel. The saddest brothel. You find your way inside the the abandoned tavern, and it is what was this giant L-shaped building right here in the corner of the. Uh, town Square. There's a second floor. It approximately runs 20 rooms. Um, they are all currently unlocked. Some of them left open. Uh, the bedding covered in dust. Some of it looks like it was left in a hurry. Yeah, we'll take it. Um, there is a cellar. Yeah. Uh, you find the cellar, and down there, there are a number of 
uh, empty barrels uh, and a couple of ones that are still full. Uh, one that appears to be like, almost like a heavy whiskey barrel. Uh, probably about 20 untouched wine bottles. Nice. And uh, a little bit of ale, but it looks like a lot of the ale uh, was either completely used or taken with whoever left and abandoned the premises. I think we could definitely use these for explosions if we need them. Or, or, or to drink. Or muscle relaxers. Uh, is there a view of the tree? From the uh, go, from from, uh, from a number of the rooms up top. Not every room has a window, but it's like every third uh, room on that side of the building does have a view of the uh, the entire square. Can I get an eye as to how far away it is? Uh, it's, I'd say, probably about 200 feet, 150 feet. Can you go invisible and still talk to the tree? Hmm? I can make her invisible if she can talk to Can you talk to the tree if you're invisible? For an hour. If you cast a spell while invisible, unless it's greater invisibility, it will drop the illusion. I can make her invisible. I got an idea. We can bur burrow under, we can yeah, find I'll, something closer. I'll, yeah. Actually, what are, what are we up to right now? We do anything? Are we busy? Well, We're, there are windows on the first floor, right? There are some windows in the tavern there. There's windows in the cellar. That's yes. why I went to the cellar. I can I just oh, you're find right, some, a some old rags or, or anything I can find, tablecloths, and just cover the windows. Okay. Okay. But make it not obvious because it doesn't want to look like we covered the windows. True. I've watched you pass <laughs> through solid stone and earth. How long can you do that for? I mean, I can, bar I can burrow, us a, burrow us a tunnel right now. Do it. Can you get us close to the, underneath the tree? Yeah. That's yeah. what she's gonna do. Yeah. Let's do it, I'm gonna do it right now. I'm gonna cast, okay. I'm move my move earth. From the cellar. Okay. Go down. Uh, <clears throat> we're gonna start carving a tunnel to the, the bottom. To the, to the direction of the tree. And I want to be careful, I don't want to damage the roots of the tree at all. So as I start getting closer, I want to start looking for the roots of the tree. Okay. Uh, you easy enough to find old rags. Um, all of them kind of have that uh, a stale, musty towel scent to them. I mean, you get, get them a little wet. There's no water here. Uh, all the water here is, has dried out. Some there, of the wine. You have, to, you have to use the wine, which probably actually kills some of the bacteria. There are wells throughout the town you see, like round wells that are set in the city. There's no nearby river. The closest river, the one that you know of, is about a 30 minute walk it's south. A bit, it's a bit of a ways. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, you use that and to kind of Focus them out a bit. You, it's easy enough for you to go around and, and put cloth over the windows. Uh, it's a dark interior, so it's not like an immediate. Just so light doesn't leak out. Uh, yeah. But just in case, I think I'll hang back. Hang back. I'm not going down a, a, a pre made tunnel. I'll just keep an eye on above ground. I am and too. We I'm can staying with you. Talk I'm going to go with you to the tunnel. Okay. I'm going to tinker a little thing. Can I borrow an arrow? Yes. Thank you. I'm going to tinker a, li a very little. Easy thing. You want the top floor? I'll take the bottom. Floor. I want to be able to fire and ignite the the, the one of the parchments that that uh, on an arrow, so that I can I can I can. Do you want me to shoot the arrow a, for you? Set a, set a, set a burn mark at a distance. Interesting. Okay. Could it's it's not enough. It, it would it would it would be a spark as opposed to actual flame. It would just it would just be concussive force of of, of right. It's more rock. getting the parchment there without it tearing or the arrow leaving it behind because it is a very thin flimsy. It piece. would be it would be coiled. Oh, coiled and then hit, release, and and yeah. Okay, that's going to be a really intricate. Go ahead and roll a, a tinker check. Let's see what 20, happens. Twenty 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 twenty. Uh, sixteen. Okay. <laughs> You you toy with it for a while, you think you have something that may work. All right. You're uncertain as to on its cool. release if it will function or not. So write down uh, parchment delivery arrow with a row? question mark next to it. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe there's a simpler way. There might be, but just in case there's not, I want to make sure you that this works. You can always just like, slap it up there and shoot I it with a. <laughs> well, I've got, I've got options. I've distance. got three of them, so I've got, a, I've got options, but I just wanted to make sure How's I had a distance. How's my burrowing going? 200 feet. All right. You, um. You continue to burrow through the ground, kind of moving the earth aside, and the, the tunnel just kind of opens before you, like the clay slowly melting away. Um, and it is, you know, wet earth. Um, eventually, you start getting to a few thick roots under okay. the tree. Um, and the, the, the roots that, that, that you see, um, they continue past the tunnel. Like, they, they go very, very deep into the ground. Awesome. Uh, I'm gonna kind of clear out a little bit more area. I don't want to 
touch the roots and cast Speak with Plants. Speak with Plants? Plants. Uh, the only superpower more pathetic than Aquaman's. Yes. Shut up. Sorry, had to. Hey, Wiz, I wish I had some water. <laughs> <laughs> the sun is so bright today. Too bad we don't have Tiberius with us with his endless it's, water fucking. It's Ent voice. Hi, Aquaman. Sure, sure, sure. I can go, Hi, go to one of the wells and get us some water. Hi, Aquaman. Hey, he's cool sometimes. Hi, Aquaman. Sometimes. That's what fish say. Hi, Aquaman. <laughs> That's what fish say. All right. So. That's all they say. Hi, Aquaman. You, uh, <laughs> you finish the spell, you reach out and you touch. The, uh, the root, and you instill the, the force of your nature-based divine energies into the root. <gasps> Silence. Oh no. It's no, true. It's dead. No! It's dead! You can bring it back. Time to bring it back. Should I? You can do that? I'm a, I'm a druid, that's my nice, yeah, man. You can bring dead things back? Yeah, dead it's called plant growth. What? Huh? This I gotta see. Should I? Okay, but it's it's dead. What time is it right now? Is it which? Right now, all the travel you guys are in the town, I'd say it's past noon, probably, including the time you've spent inside the tavern, kind of searching it through and preparing it as your start base of up. operations. Do it. Should I start it up now? Yeah, we'll do, do it. Go for it. it. I'm gonna start my plant growth. I'm gonna. Okay, so I'm gonna drop. Uh, can I try to almost like clear out an area to where I can just like. Yeah, I should Reach be fine. up in its like its like trunk put, kind put, of area. Put your, put it's your main hand junk. In, in the oh, thing yeah, of it. I'm gonna strap on my For gloves. The cow. <laughs> okay. Turning cough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Hope you guys are ready for this. Is it gonna be loud? No, it's just gonna take a long time. Max and I are guarding the tavern, so if anything, I'm gonna comes get away. some provisions ready to like spoon feed her. Actually, yeah. Before <laughs> I do that, can we can we all have one last meal together and eat a hero's feast? I like that? it. Yeah. Yes, yeah, sure. certainly. Yeah. Yeah. Let's eat. So uh, you've 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 made the purchase within Iman for how many of the requisite uh, chalice for the hero's feast? How many did I buy? I thought you had yes. at least one. Well, it gets used. Hero's feasts. It's expensive. Very, very it's, a it's a thousand dollars. Yeah, it's a gem encrusted bowl worth at least a thousand gold pieces, which the spell consumes. So, we'll say how many of those did you purchase in Iman, knowing you'd be casting this in the future. How much gold do we have? <laughs> not that, not a lot. We that had, shit. you can have purchased, is that just for each person, or a thousand gold for no, the whole party? No, yeah, yeah, yeah. How about you did three bowls? Three bowls. Uh, uh, mark three thousand gold from the uh, the group's queue. Yeah. Kind of And you have three uh, gem bowls, using one now, so you have two bowls left. At your disposal, and you prepare a hero's feast for the group to consume. I take some of that leftover wine, use that to make it fancy wine. This is great. It's awesome. Are we eating in the in the cellar? Mm. So you get, I believe, two d12 additional hit points on top of your maximum hit points. Wait, what? Forever? No. No, no, no. For how hero's long? Twenty-four feast hours. Lasts for twenty-four hours. Two d12. So in, until about uh, tomorrow at two p.m. tomorrow. tomorrow. That's it. So mark that down, somebody. Note that it lasts until oh, yeah. 2 p.m. 2d12? 2d12 gets... 2d10. Oh, I'm sorry, 2d10. Oh, oh, damn it. Oh, it rolled so well. Or whole overall hit points. Oh, that brings me to one And you should have... Ooh, I got two tens! Oh, nice. badass. Trinket can also eat from this, by the way, too. Oh, yay! Yes. You also get other bonuses. Yep, you are immune to poison and diseases, and being frightened, and all wisdom saving throws are made with advantage. Feast is Why don't we awesome. do that right before we go see the Briar Woods also? Well, we have we another bowl. Okay. We, we have two more too. bowls. Because that is fucking I'm awesome. I'm doing that Isn't right that now, awesome? just yes. in case the Briar Woods decide to come say hello. Okay. Or any of the other terrible people who live in this town. You don't there are terrible people in this all. town. <laughs> that was a delicious feast. Oh, the tikka masala was tangy. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's God, now I'm feeling <laughs> So we're immune to poison and disease. Poison, yes. disease, and, and fear. Frightened. Yeah, that's good. Poison, um, disease. So feast consumed. You now take your next eight hours. I'm gonna go meditate. I'll be back in eight hours. To work on this, as she sits down to begin the ritual of cleansing, or of of bringing plant vitality 
uh, enhancement to the vicinity of Whitestone. We're going to go ahead and end today's session there. Yes! Oh, Pick up at the end of that that spell at the beginning of next week. Ah! Oh. Um, I love you all so much. Interesting. Fuck. I love you so much. What time is it? I love that. Oh. It was like eight in the morning ish, I think, oh, when we found that I building. I want to keep yeah. going. What? Was it around eight in the morning when we got to, to that house? You guys got to town around nine, nine thirty. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, so the spell probably started around. Walking around, around like seeing 11. things, finding the tavern, um, and then getting in there and cleaning out. I'd say you're close to like, like one, two o'clock now. So you're also taking it slow. You're also being like stealthy and not trying to be inconspicuous right. as you So we'll room, start the fight in the morning the next day. Well, I'm, I'm meditating now. I dropped into my meditation and then we're starting any fight. We're going to start forming an insurgency. Right, we'll Hopefully start. nothing happens and yeah, y'all don't have to defend me while I do this shit. That's what I'm hoping for. I'll be fine. Right, so I room. have stuff to give you too, because, yeah. <sighs> wow. Oh, man. Thank you for letting me roll with that, by the way. That was. Uh, it fit right into my, my, my. I had a funny feeling it would, yeah. so. All right, guys. Uh, so we'll be back from there next week, right in the center of the essentially the a tree full of dead us. That's, that's fucked up. That was some mean that's shit, really man. That's really gross. That's what you call a giving tree. <laughs> it's a friendly place, white stuff. was happy, <laughs> but not really. So, but not really. Yes. So yeah, yeah. No. So that was it. Alrighty. Uh, well, do we have? Yes, we have the. The announcements. Yeah. We have some donations. Yeah, yeah. Donations. You guys are awesome. Donations. Is it do oh. And I want to thank the chat room for being on their best behavior tonight. Yes. Yeah. Hey. 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 The band hammer. What? They avoided the band hammer. There was no band hammer. Well done. There was. There was no band. Not by me anyway. Oh, not by me. There's always a couple trolls that find their yeah, way. Yeah, it's the internet. Trolls happen. But yeah, guys. Uh, thank you for. Yeah. Being respectful. Oh, guys, thank good. you. Oh my god, we I'm so happy to be sharing this. Now on what makes you guys so awesome, donations for charity. Yay! Yay. Yeah. Woo. Already. Sort of. All right, so we have uh, Maxime Poliquin, <laughs> elite, 1337. That's fantastic, thank you. Thank you so much, Maxime. Matthew Robertson donated $25. Matthew, brilliance. Elizabeth Lees donated $100. Thank you so much, Elizabeth, that's incredible. Uh, Arthur is still wow. donating fifty dollars. Thank you so much, Arthur. Well played. Anonymous person and two anonymous people uh, donated fifteen dollars and twenty-five dollars. Thank you guys. You're awesome. Thanks, wherever you are. Anonymous people. Sam Falco donated twenty-five dollars. Sam, you're rad. Yeah. Uh, Kristen Wilhelmy donated twenty dollars. Way to go, Kristen. Uh, John Reap donated fifteen dollars, and Sarah Hannah donated a hundred dollars. John, you're awesome. Sarah, your hundred dollars, awesome. Uh, Killer Penguin, another 20 bucks. <laughs> yeah. Killer Penguin. Yeah. Good Killer Penguin. Why are you so good to us? Uh, love My Mom donated $22. <laughs> yes. no. Yeah, we did. No, Thank you, Love My Mom. Too easy. The Lost Hikers donated $25. Hikers, hope you find your way. Brian uh, Brian Weebler, I think it is, uh, donated $3. Thank you so much, Brian. Uh, and uh, pr I mean, any, any amount helps, by the way. There's like, seriously, guys, it, it, that's great. Thank you so much. Uh, Whoa! Patrick Toro donated $1,337. Wait, what? what? Extra Life Charity, $1,337. That is fully a elite donation. Wow, amazing. Patrick. Wait, maybe wow. the decimal place was wrong? Well, that would. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Thank you, and we're very sorry. That's, that's incredible, Patrick. Wow. Seriously. Thank you very much. Uh, Malachi Olden donated $25. Thank you, Malachi. Uh, Emma Engvist, Engfwist, uh, donated fifty dollars. Sorry if I ruined that, but thank you so much, Emma. That's that's wonderful. Yay. Ryan uh, Care donated twenty five dollars. Ryan, you're great. Thanks, uh, Ryan. And Emma came back with another twenty five dollar donation again. Double uh, dipping. Thank you so much, uh, Emma. I really really appreciate that. Um, and and uh, love to you and sweet. Uh, Anonymous donated thirty five dollars and ten cents. Anonymous, whoever you are, love you too. Woohoo! Um, that means job anon. Yeah, we'll go back to the beginning. Got gotcha, you, no worries. Uh, Richard Redmond donated $35. Richard, well played, well done. Jordan Golan donated $15. Thank you, Jordan. You're awesome. <laughs> uh, another anonymous person donated $25. Whoever you are, heart. Uh, Tim Pearson returns with a $25 donation. Thank you so much, Tim. Thanks, Tim. You're rad. Uh, Stephen Sudaban Davis donated $100. Stephen, thank you. That's, that's incredible. Wow. 
Ona Nelson also donated a hundred dollars. Wow, Ona, you're also crazy. awesome. That's it's incredible. Oh, crazy. Anna Law donated twenty five dollars. Thank you, Anna. Nice, well played. Uh, Louis Ledler donated five hundred and sixty dollars. Louis, yes. whoa! There's there. This community wow. is so much Thank you guys. people. Uh, so awesome. An interesting note. They said they wanted to donate twenty dollars per episode because they just caught up. Oh, oh. wow. wow. That's a lot. Cow a lot of episodes. Oh, that's that's a, lot guys. Of episodes. That's a lot of episodes. Chris Black donated thirty-five dollars. Chris, you're fantastic. Yes, thank you so much, buddy. Uh, Cash Brown donated fifty dollars. Cash, name. yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Stephen Dugan donated five dollars. Is that the Duganator? Yeah, that's Duganator. Duganator. Stephen yeah. Dugan. Yeah. I think the Duganator. The Duganator. Well, five dollars. Thank you so much, Duganator. Duganator. Uh, James Ramsey donated you? twenty-five dollars. Yeah. James, <laughs> you do encourage goodwill. Uh, Tim Nicholson donated twenty five dollars. Thank you so much, Tim Nicholson. Uh, another anonymous hashtag pumpkin spice this bitch <laughs> donated twenty five dollars. Yep. Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, Love that Sydney. Spice. Oh, Rocco Shepherd, Sydney, who we met in New York, actually uh, donated fifteen dollars. Thank oh, you so much, Sydney. Nice. It's great Good to, to meet, meet you. you. Uh, Arthur Gibbs donated fifty dollars. Arthur, you're fantastic, buddy. Uh, Joseph Allen donated twenty five dollars to Extra Life. Joseph, thank you so much. Uh, another anonymous donated. Uh, oh, it's Megan. Donated five dollars. Thank you so much, Megan. Yeah, really appreciate that. Uh, Joseph uh, Obricky donated twenty-five dollars. Uh, thank you again, Joseph. That's that's amazing. Um, Descend from Grace returns with a fifty-dollar donation. Descend from Grace. Yay! What a sad name. Thank you so much. Um, Vin Cow donated ten dollars. Vin, thank you so much. Uh, Ghost Kaiden donated fifteen dollars. Thank you so much, Ghost Kaiden. And, and we have one, one more that just one. We'll came in, I believe. Oh, that one. Come on. Yep. There we go. Uh, Tyson uh, Poirier. I'm sorry if I ruined that, but Tyson, you're awesome. You donated forty dollars. Really appreciate that. Thank you. That's awesome. Thank you guys. Oh, donated based on uh, critical fails and <laughs> natural twenties. That's kind of awesome. That's kind of a cool way to do it. Kind of great. Guys, you, you're all. Continuously fantastic in your support for this community, for the charity causes that we that we uh, put this out for. Ever we humbled. A, another big charity cause tomorrow, where you're yes, on drums. Yes. So yes. tomorrow, the Battle of the Bands from five to seven p.m. Your team, in case you don't know, is you, Felicia Day, Tom Link, and Josephine, one of our mods. See, Felicia was doing this thing where she was like, "What team could I put together that will immediately win fan favorite without doing any actual work?" So we saw your plan. She's so smart. We saw your plan, Felicia, and we came back with our team of Lucas, Mr. Spoopy in the back. Yeah. Running the tech board. Heck yeah. yeah. Uh, Augie, who is a professional drummer. Oh. Uh, Hector and Amy Dallin. And we know between Amy and Josephine, our chat room is definitely going to be split on who is the chat room so, favorite. So, so is the professional drummer on bass? No, definitely not. He is not on Dropped base. Whitestone. He's uh -huh. not on bass. Uh, <laughs> Lucas is also singing, right? able to play all songs on Expert on guitar. I think you guys are going to have your work cut out for you. For sure. It's all good. For sure. They also work here almost all week and practice after all the shows. That's cool. Is that what you do? So, I five, prefer to light my opponents on fire while they're drumming. Because well, I find that's a good challenge oh, man, for their skill set. Oh man, if you do for such a good show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very okay with it. Like, let's just, it let's go for good it. To know. It's for charity, let's good just do know. it. Alrighty. I, I want to say a thing, we had a studio audience uh, this uh, for this show as well. Oh yes! I'm very, very thankful Yes, we for. did actually. Yeah, fellow Critter. Come on, come on. Alec. Come on fast. Yeah. Here, go next to the DM. Come back here. Go next to the DM. Alright, we're going next. Come here real fast. Stick the table. Occasionally Any table. Have, occasionally we have fun. Friends come in, Duck down hello. low. Come down, come down here and say hello. What's up, Twitch chat? How are you doing? These guys are exactly as awesome as you imagine them to be in person. <laughs> I have to say, like, completely blown away. Aww. Absolutely Aww. amazing. Oh, you. Oh, thanks, you. Thanks, for, thanks for just, like, stopping by. That was cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. Thank you so Everybody much. stopping by. Of course, buddy. And guys, thank you all so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, we'll be back next week. Thursday. Uh, we'll end here with a. Uh, is it Thursday yet? Woo! Bye, guys. Have a good night, guys. We love Goodbye. you.